So, that's not everything, guys, though, because we have, we have uh, a call that Jar did. Uh, what was the time of this upload? Three days ago, so probably like maybe four or five days ago at the time of this, uh, what it, whenever this was recorded, right? So I am curious what he says here. I have I've heard some snippets here and there for uh, throughout some videos, and I wanted to check those out. So chat, here we go. Hopefully this is not a um a fire. <laughs> Honestly, I'm hoping he incriminates himself more on this. So, uh, let's begin, shall we? Get to, uh... Hey, sorry that took so long. It's just when you haven't eaten in two days, you have to really chew your food or your system could go into shock. <clears throat> when you haven't eaten in two days, your system could go into a shock. What the? Oh my fucking god, man! These people, these people, chat. They make me angry. I don't know why they fucking make me angry. They irritate me to a degree that I cannot fucking explain. Like Jesus Christ, they act like such smug fucking bastards in their video, right? But as soon as you get them in, in like an unedited like Discord call, they they're fucking so uh yeah, they're so fucking smarmy and all this bullshit. I I've water fasted before, so I know about this stuff. <laughs> I've water fasted before, so I know about this stuff. What What the fuck you 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 yapping? You're yapping jar. What the fuck what the fuck is this? What? Well, honestly, what the fuck is going on here, Jar? You're making no sense. Yeah, no, I mean, fair enough. You ever done a water fast? No, I. You uh, you ever water fast? Like these, these are the types of conversations you can expect to have with an art commentary person. Chat. These are the types of conversations you're going to have. I hope you're ready for some boredom. I, I've never done a water fast. Uh, I've just not eaten for two days. <laughs> yeah, well, you still have to drink water or eat or you die, but yeah. Right. right. You still have to drink water or you die. Jar 2024. What, what lovely quotes. Right. So, I mean, I guess I, I guess I did water fast. I just didn't know that I was. Oh, it was this guy who was water fasting. Okay. Well, basically, so, you just drink nothing but you drink nothing but water for like days after day after day, like no food, just water. That's what it is. Dude, this is fucking thrilling content. This is amazing. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So, with all of this stuff. What has got you, like, so freaked out and down? Well, honestly, this is the first... Uh, second, I should... I clarify, I should fix that. Second time I've ever received mass, massive backlash. Um, I took the video down before it got ratioed, but it was on its way to that happening, and I've been ratioed twice already. And, okay. uh... Basically, what happened is... Um, I, I saw the situation. I saw everybody going at Cine and, um, like people were telling me, ah, uh, Cine, like they sent nudes to a minor and all this other stuff. And then, uh, who was telling you that they sent nudes to a minor? Obviously that person has wrong information. They weren't sending nudes of themselves. They were sending very inappropriate artwork, which I believe some of the artwork pieces had nudes in them. But, like, in terms of, like, IRL nudes, no, none was sent in that aspect. Uh, you know, I, I had my doubts about the situation. Like, I didn't, like, I had my doubts about it because of the pyro drama. Because pyro, I know. Because <laughs> of the pyro drama. Is it, I, I want, is he, I, is he going to be repeating a lot of the stuff he's ha he said on the, uh, the Chud stream? Everybody says, oh, Pyro didn't know Ivory's age. No, Pyro learned about Ivory's age when Ivory turned 16. And, and I quote here. 
Well, the thing the thing is, when the conversations initially happened, uh, he didn't know the age. In fact, he was under the assumption um, that he was 18, uh, or at least above the age of 18, because uh, they had met in a, oh God, a Discord furry RP server that was specifically 18 plus, so that way furries could act out their fantasies. God, I hate the pyro drama. I fucking hate that bullshit so goddamn much. I fucking hate that bullshit, man. Why do these why do freaks always end up on the internet, man? Why? Why can't they just keep that stuff private? They they just can't. They have to fucking share it online. Always has to involve a goddamn kid. Er. I shouldn't have continued the furry stuff with him. And I was like, wait, Pyro, what the fuck do you mean by that? And also Pyro had a 15 year old draw a thicker version of his avatar um, in a like much more sexy way. And, but what I failed to take into account was that Cine has done this multiple times. And I was going to go through, like let my roommate look through my video because he was on a business trip and he just got home. But you have your roommate review your videos. Does your roommate do YouTube as well? Or what? Can you imagine? Fucking imagine. Your 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 roommate is a YouTuber. And you have to like you have to review his videos for him. Chat, can you imagine that? Fucking fucking imagine that one, guys. Like holy shit. Imagine your your roommate's a fucking YouTuber. And then you have to review his videos. And then the video he sends, he sends you. The video he sends you is about fucking grooming and the art commentary community. And keep in mind, you as a normal individual have no idea what this bullshit is. You just know that your roommate's a YouTuber. And you have to listen to him explain how an, an adult talking to a child is actually a okay <laughs> like god damn god fucking damn when i had covid i didn't eat uh eat anything john well that's good for you that's good that's good good for you jacob round of a fucking applause i don't know what you want me to i don't know what, what you want me to say with that i don't know what the fuck you want me to say This, I'm saying this is a fucking. I'm just saying that was a fucking weird way to open a conversation, especially about this whole thing. My video got leaked. I panicked and I uploaded the video, and then I didn't know what to do. And then my messages with her got leaked, and it really does look like I'm hitting on her. But I swear I joke around like that all. And guys, it only seems like I'm trying to get in her pants. I swear I'm not. I'm not, guys. I swear. Peaky promises. I'm not trying to get in her fucking pants. Oh, I, <laughs> guys, I, I peaky promise. I wasn't trying to get in her pants. I swear. I swear. I swear to the heavens. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 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 you know, Twitch would hate me saying that, but not YouTube. YouTube's A-OK with me saying oy vey. <laughs> don't don't let Hassan and Frogan catch me saying that, okay? All the time, I'm gra gathering the evidence to show that I I always say to people, "Hey, you want to see my cock?" And then I send them a picture of a fucking chicken. Uh, classic, classic humor. It, it's so funny the like the hundredth time you do it too. I don't know. I think I think I might have done that type of joke. When I was like maybe thirteen, yeah, I might have done that type of joke maybe when I was thirteen, but th th that's about that's about it, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I kind of get that. Like, the biggest thing for me, I guess, was the fact that, like, and I'm not saying this is the case. I'm just saying like this is probably something that you should get ready to respond to. Um. Mm -hmm. It was, and like, again, like, this is not me saying this. This is just something you should probably be ready for. 
Um, when you say that, like, do you want to see my cock thing? There is, I mean, it could have literally been five seconds and then the minute turned, but it shows on the messages that there was a minute between you saying that and sending the picture. And like, oh, yeah, to I know. Some... I know. Okay. I, I okay. know. Yeah, it could be like, yo, you're waiting for, you're waiting for the girl to say yes. So like, you notice she's not answering the message. You got, you panic. Then you send the picture of the rooster and you're like, ha ha, you see, it was just a funny joke. It was just a funny joke, babe. Because like, First time I did that was actually with uh, Spockter. I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa there, whoa there, Nelly. Isn't uh, isn't Spockter like significantly younger than you? That's a that's a bit of a yikes there, dog. What what the what the fuck? What the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck is now recording doing fucking Ray to me? The fuck, get out of here, <laughs> chat." Get the fuck out of here, okay? This is supposed to be a stream for fucking nobodies. What the fuck is this bullshit? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, okay? Listen, okay? If I have fucking people watching me, then I have to actually put in fucking effort. You expect me to do that? You expect me to fucking do that? Okay, I'm Nerdy John. I don't put in effort into fucking anything. Okay? This this is a shitter stream. I want you guys to fucking know that. No, fucking, no. No, get the fuck out of here. Hey, check your DMs while we were in a call group chat. And I said, and he saw the message and I said, you want to see it? And he shaked his head and then I sent him the picture and he went, oh, oh, okay. You're a funny guy. What, what, the, what, the, what, the, fuck, what the fuck is his recollection? Dude, fucking, what the fuck goes through Jara's head, man? This is not how, like, wait, and, oh my god, wait, was he, was he do, uh, acting this way? Because, like, he had to talk to Spockter for his fucking drama. Oh, dude, fucking same pattern of behavior and everything. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, I mean, I guess, like, again, not my thing that I believe, but, like, I, I, do, I think some people will probably be like, oh, yeah, they were, he was waiting for her to respond and then when he saw that she didn't then he like made it the chicken picture you know i, what I, mean? I know i've done this i've done this so many times that i i'm i'm gonna show people like like i've i've asked everyone to see my cock i'm basically ghosty that that's what that's the vibe i'm getting from that <laughs> that's the fucking vibe i'm getting uh hi uh subscribe for the smoothest voice whoa, whoa let's not get ahead of ourselves let's not get ahead of ourselves reese no, please. <laughs> How much to make you read Charlotte's Web again instead? No, this is a topic stream, Wookie. We're not fucking doing that. And uh, why are you fucking referencing that during this stream? Goddamn. Okay. This is not the first time I've done shit like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so I, I, I'm, I'm gathering all that evidence and shit because the main thing I want to debunk is that I'm a simp, simping for Cine. That's the main thing I want to go. <laughs> I love how, I love how, like, his thing is like, wait, oh no, hang on, guys. Let me, it, it, his first thought is, let me clarify that I'm not fucking defending a groomer. His thought is, let me defend myself from the simping allegations. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Bruh. Bruh. You can't, you can't get better than this. You, you genuinely can't get better than this. Uh, remember, remember the Chud call? When he, when it was revealed that like he did have an attraction towards her and he was like, well, well, but I would never like, I would never cheat on my girlfriend or anything when that's not the issue. Cause obviously you are flirting and actively thirsting after someone who groomed a child, you know, <laughs> no simping. That's right. Reese hashtag no simping hashtag no goonie as well. Okay. We're, we're a Christian we're a Christian group chat. In case you're new to the channel, we're we're we're, we're, Christ, we're Christian here. Uh, we have a we believe in the Bible, and uh, hashtag no gooning. Over, because me and my girlfriend talked about this. She's like, I, I know how you joke, and you've received multiple warnings about like this that eventually is going to come. You've received multiple <laughs> warnings, dude. Okay, jar, jar. I understand. Okay. 
You're not fully aware of social situations. I get that, man. I get it, you know. We've we witnessed that several times with Bo Blacks. But here's the thing. If you have to receive several warnings about your behavior to different people, um, maybe maybe it's time to like tone that down. You know, I'm not saying you can't you can't joke like that with the boys, you know what I mean? But like also too, I'm just I'm just saying, um, maybe that shouldn't be like your your first uh, joke in the evening. You kind of want to, you kind of want to start things off slow, see what their uh, humor gauge is. You know, I cannot imagine having to warn a boyfriend, LMAO, like bitch. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, I don't think, I don't think the girlfriend's talking about her warning him several times. I think she's talking about how several people have warned him several times, which is, I would argue worse. <laughs> I would argue way worse. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, God, God damn, God damn jar. Come on, dude. Change your fucking behavior, man. It's not that hard. Stop it. Get some help. Come back and bite you in the ass. And yeah, she's 100% right about that. <laughs> Why the fuck is your girlfriend giving you YouTube advice? Is she a YouTuber? You know, you know, you're fucking up. When, like, non-YouTubers have to give you advice on how to behave on YouTube. Like, bro, that should not be the scenario. Like, normally when, like, YouTubers get girlfriends, man, they're like, okay, babe, like, I, I get it, you know. I'm someone who receives a lot of hate. Don't engage with it, you know, that type of thing. But the girlfriend is giving him advice on how to behave in social situations when he's a YouTuber. Like, God fucking damn it, man. This is so sad and pathetic. How did he get this girlfriend? Is, is she like, is she like more autistic than he is? How, how did he bag this? I don't know what his girlfriend looks like. She could be like Jabba the Hutt. Maybe he is dating Frogan, right? But like, holy shit. Holy, holy shit. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? Men uh, give no warning, just crack the, that whip. What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? I said no fucking goonie in chat, guys. Also, uh, why is a taken man making flirtatious jokes to other girls, let alone a person he's meant to be interviewing regarding grooming allegations? Uh, well, next gen, uh, he he talks this way to to everyone. You don't you don't get it. That's just that's just his his sense of humor. You know, like you know, my my sense of humor talking to everyone is I I spam the n word at them, right? I spam the n word at people, especially uh, women I'm talking to, right? <laughs> Jar Jar's humor is just like he wants to show everyone his cock. You know, that's just that's just how funny humor works. It's just funny. Either she's not real. Or Jar is just <laughs> unfaithful. Another tipster parallel. Ooh, ooh, that'd be interesting. Yo, maybe tipster can save uh can save Jar. Who knows? Who fucking knows, chat? So she but she for the most part is understanding. Oh yeah. She um is a upset about the situation, but she's gonna stay with me and out of all the <laughs> Dude, she has to be like the dumbest woman on the planet then. Nah, she has she has to be like just as uh, mentally disabled as he is, right? I can't be the only one thinking that. The L's I could have taken, that was the one I was most worried about, but since she's staying with me, I'm I'm just so happy. Yeah. No, I mean like I'm I'm a member of the commentary community, but like I'm pretty anti and the fact that like i really hate it when you know life ruination shit happens like I, I mean, that's not commentary though that's not commentary that's like that's that's like the anti that's 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 like the ironically enough that's like the anti-commentary guys you know <laughs> i ain't mentioned i'm not i ain't gonna mention names but y'all know who i'm talking about when i say life ruination shit <laughs> john <laughs> Defo spams the N word. Yeah, that's right, Reese. Expose the DMs. Show how many times I've spammed you the N word. Okay, do it. <laughs> do it. No balls, literally. 
my 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 uh, my point is uh, I want to ruin and want I want to sabotage myself right now because I don't want I don't want the, this amount of people watching me because then like I have to put effort. That's that's not something I want to do. <laughs> I really don't like that. So I was, you know, I mean, I think that there's valid criticism to give within your video and all that kind of stuff. But then when I saw the just kind of level that people were coming at you, I was like, okay, this is pretty overblown. Like this is overblown the guy defended a groomer the guy defended a groomer and downplayed a lot of what she did uh saying stuff like uh, oh like oh well the minor messaged verse like like if if people are okay like if people are like trying to dox jar then yes that's going too far but like if all i've seen so far is just people calling him out on his dumb behavior like that's genuinely what every like what people are doing, and I I don't see why it, it's <laughs> whoa guys you're going a little too hard on Jar. Uh, let's see. Uh, John spams yeah, and DMs every <laughs> of every black queen he messages. <laughs> hey hey, next chat, next chat. Okay, listen, listen, listen. It works. <laughs> <laughs> a lot um, mm -hmm. so I guess I guess my like just out of pure curiosity here like have you been watching other people's coverage after the whole Chud thing or did you just kind of take no, some no, space I, 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 I um, after the Chud thing I realized like I'm I don't want to end up like Bo Blacks uh, you know who that? I don't, I don't want to end up like Bo Blacks. <laughs> you see, that's the thing with Jar is that like he's mostly associated with like art commentary, but he does follow. He did follow like the um, the Goon Squad. You know, uh, he was pretty active during um, he he was pretty active during the the John Swan drama. Actually, hang on, hang on. Let me. Uh, Augie, R Augie, RFC, uh, just a robot. On the R Augie RFC channel, they actually have a clip of him reacting. Uh, okay, okay, it's, hmm, it's not on Augie's channel, but it's on Commentary Aids, hashtag uh, Commentary Aids. Just a robot? Oh my god, that oh, guy's video was terrible. I hate that video. That video is so bad. I hated Wait, the video. Watch it? Can we I watch it? I have some gem. Okay, let's uh, get to the part where they react. He run Minecraft while three of his friends were trying to kill him. And it ended in a pretty amazing way. What? 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 George! No! I... Yeah. Yeah. The whole Pyrocynical versus Ivory versus like Tony Tom drama was going on. Basically, Ivory accused Nick Pyro of some notes and everybody gained up on This Ivory guy's just a robot. I've been watching him for like chaser. four years now. I've been like, it's not rad, not man. consistently, but like, I've seen him like on and off for like the past four years. Was he like a skeptic type channel? That's, yeah, that's the funny thing is uh, Just a Robot started out as like a, a skeptic channel in the vein of like uh, armored skeptic, you know, those types. In fact, I think that's I think that's where um because like if you guys noticed um Shuan Head has been like watching a lot of like Chud's coverage of it. That's where she knows him from was because if you guys remember, she used to date Armor Skeptic, and I want to say Jar and Armor Skeptic had some sort of crossover. Uh, Bo Black's catching strays again. Bo Black is going to be catching strays for a long time. He, he absolutely is. Um, I guess now is the time. Better late than never. Uh, advertise the Discord server. If you guys want to call in and talk about this, you are more than welcome to. Uh, Jar is the only <laughs> is only worse than Bo Blacks be uh because he defended a groomer. They're both extremely pathetic. True, they are. They're sad sacks. Uh, some pathetic willies, you know. Uh, anyway. Let's continue onwards. That is right. Absolutely. You know what he's been doing, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what he's been doing, right? Yeah, so I was like, no, I need to. I haven't been. Every now and then I'll look at my YouTube channel. In fact, right now on my laptop, I'm logged into uh, 
alt account so I can watch videos because I, I see that on my main account. I see that bell notification. I click on it and uh it's just a video on you <laughs> i see uh hope the pedo pussy was worth it or uh <laughs> yo hey yo dog i mean was it worth it it was it worth ruining your ruining your online career for it <laughs> hope um or leave youtube or whatever yeah. And you see, this is the funny thing. It's like Jar Jar comes from that community that like it, it severely affects them if like people are if people are mean to them, right? Now granted, you know, I can safely say I've never had the backlash uh that these creators receive. However, you you know what the fuck I do when, when someone is like trying to poke at me? I leave it alone. <laughs> I leave it alone because guess what? If you if you feed into shit, more shit's gonna happen. I don't know what else to tell you. I had I had a feeling there was a connection. Uh, if I call in, do you want a soft or a, the hard R? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Wookie. Um, uh, I don't know which one would you two be more okay with. I have no idea. <laughs> and so what's what is your plan for like your response like i know that you said that you're gonna kind of gather up like multiple times oh my god he's gonna respond to all this oh that's great of you being like ah oh, like well, uh i'm you gonna know, I've done this I'm, before. I'm, well i mostly want to show that i've done that before um i wanted to also bring on my roommate so he can explain that he was off on a business trip and <laughs> We're going to get the roommate testimony chat. The the roommate testimony is going to fucking clear everything up. That's fantastic. Oh god, is this going to be like the roommate's first time being on camera too? That would that's going to be hilarious if that's the case. Fucking imagine your roommate has gotten into a group he's gotten into a grooming drama. And you have to, like, defend him by saying, well, like, yeah, he's just, like, he's just weird with everyone, you know? I asked him if he could clean the, the dishes, and, uh, you know, he started talking about Star Wars. <laughs> like, God, like, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think the roommate's gonna save your career. And sometimes I need someone to talk to me for just a couple of minutes so I can pass out and he wasn't home. Like, that's a weird thing about... Dude, just fucking... Dude, you know what I do when I can't fall asleep? Okay, I fucking listen to ASMR of, like, raindrops or some shit like that. If you need to listen to someone's voice to fall asleep, why not just put on, like, a YouTube video or something, right? Is that, like, impossible for you to do? I, I, I do that shit all the time. Okay, call me a fucking iPad kid. But that's what I fucking do to fall asleep. I have something playing in the background. It's not that hard to do. You don't need to fucking drag people in a Discord call. So that way so that way you can help them fall asleep at night. Like bro, bro. It's weird. It, it, even if you do that with everyone, that's just fucking weird to do. Help me. I just have the worst like problem. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, is that so that's kind of the reasoning that you're giving for like having released the video in the first place other than obviously like the kumo stuff this is this is one of those moments where jar's like hmm let me let me think about this real quick hang uh, on okay uh just responding to someone yeah no oh my god the fucking adhd brain over here you can't fucking focus on anything He's like, duh, hang on, hang on, hang on, messaging someone. Why doesn't he call his girlfriend? Call me, I'll answer for $100 and scream in your ear for a minute straight. Uh, She can't be real then? <laughs> yo, yo, no guys, you, you, you don't get it. You don't, you, you don't, you don't get it, chat, okay? Uh, his girlfriend just goes to a different school. 
His girlfriend just goes to a different school, guys. So, like, okay, chat. Okay, chat. We need to ask this question. Is the girlfriend a Discord girl? Or is this somehow someone he knows IRL? Chat, I need you. I, we got we got people in here to fucking answer this for once. Okay, chat. Do you think he's this is e pussy, or they th you think he's getting that IRL coochie? Chat, I need some answers. Chat, what are you thinking? One's one's in the chat. If it's a if it's a Discord e girl, two in the chat. If it's if it's if he's getting some IRL pussy, we need uh we need some answers. No problem. Fucking riveting, riveting uh, jar. I'm glad you're leaving completely dead air. It's not like you can talk and fucking answer DMs at the same time. No, it's impossible to fucking do that. It's impossible. Ah, <laughs> uh, good, good stuff here, jar. Good stuff. Let me see. There we go. With someone about <laughs> Dude, fucking imagine being this guy on call, and it's like, holy shit. When the fuck is this guy going to be speaking? When the when the fuck? Dude can't even spell pussy. <laughs> well, if she was real, two because she she's kidnapped and living under the house. Uh we uh we he not getting IRL pussy anytime soon. My answer is if she's real, it's Flamenco's GF. Oh, you think he stole Flamenco's girl? Well, I think she ain't getting any more pussy after this. Nah, nah, no, he ain't. He he ain't, man. He ain't. F in the chat for that. Topic. I know. So can't be one for a few. Okay, sorry. Jeez. I just someone else wanted to talk to me about this at the same time, and I just told them, like, listen, I, I can't, I can't talk to you both at the same time. I'm going to get distracted. I'm just yeah. going to lay down. Okay. So, yeah. what was your question again? Um, I was just ex like asking and just clarifying the reason that was the. How does this guy make YouTube videos? Does he, does he have someone like holding his hand? I understand he has an editor. But, like, how on earth was he able to, like, make videos on his own? He gets distracted so easily. And granted, you know, I get distracted sometimes when making uh, YouTube videos or, like, trying to do a stream. But, like, god damn, man. It's like, how how are you able to do anything? <laughs> like, seriously, come on. Like, is there... Reason okay. that you're kind of giving for why you did... Uh, release the video with like the mistakes other than like the Kumo stuff is because you weren't able to like clear it with your roommate no 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 my roommate was going to come home my roommate was going to come home and he was going to like help me check the video because I'm I mean it's no secret I'm stupidly autistic so I need <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a bit of an understatement help from other people um some people have insulted me for this saying it's a video by committee but i don't see that as a problem i think it's best to get like as many eyes on it as you can and i was also going to show that i was going to send this this to um akumu not kumo akumu is a different guy yeah <laughs> yeah guys this is our commentary we have to remember akumo and kumo are two different people because fuck me he he grinds twenty four seven. Obviously, yo yo, is that the real Donald J Trump in chat, guys? Yo, a round of applause, round of applause. Okay, this is the guy who's gonna win the next election. I'm he has like a demon avatar. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, I was going to also send it to Akumu so he could look over it and give me some pointers because. Well, he's edgy. He's reasonably edgy. Like, he's a reasonable guy, but he's also edgy. And I wanted him to look at it. I wanted Chud Logic to get Chud Logic's thoughts because he was talking about this. And 
uh, Chud Logic is a, um, I, I saw one of his videos on me like before this happened and it was back in his quote on what he, this is him saying it, not me. Back in his soy days, he covered one of my videos and it was probably the weirdest video I've ever seen on me. He would play a little bit of my video, disagree with my point, continue playing my video, realize I made the exact same point as him. And then he would be like, oh, okay, never mind then. And he just kept on doing that. I was well, you see, you see, uh, Chud is what we like to call in the business a pause Andy, okay? And trust me, I've done this plenty of times. Turkey Tom's done this plenty of times where it's like you make a point, but then you realize that like in the next few seconds, the video you're, you're reacting to makes the same point, okay? Listen, okay, we all, we all have those moments. It happens. It happens, uh, Jar. It's like, now this might be the best video on me. So he seemed like a reasonable guy, so I wanted, and he knew about the situation, so I wanted him to look over it too. And a bunch of other people as well, but then Kumo leaked what I had. I panicked and I uploaded what I had already, and uh, I think that was a stupid move. Um, I, I really could have been way more PR about this, and I panicked, uploaded, and my roommate, when he finally got home and he saw this shit, he was like, dude, I, I why did you do this? Like, I would have told you to change this, that. And... Wait, it's like his roommate, is this like, is his roommate better call Saul? You know, is it Saul Goodman? Like, is the Saul Goodman uh, his, his roommate? Because like, because <laughs> like, bro, anyone, anyone could have told him. That this video was a bad idea to upload, right? <laughs> like, it, this is this is just insane to me that like he can li he can listen to like a hundred people who have like the same exact opinion of his roommate, and he'll go, "No, no, they're wrong, they're wrong," and then his roommate will say, it, and then he's probably like, "Oh my god, so true, so true, roommate." <laughs> in the third like he was not happy with like the final uh product so i guess that brings me to my next question like do you plan on kind of just not ever like touching on it again or do you plan on making a better version i'm not going to make a better version um i okay. think i think the waters are already the uh, because here's the thing let's say let's say hypothetically i'm not saying this is the case okay i want to sure. make this very clear i'm not sure. saying this is the case let's just yeah. say sydney is 100 percent innocent okay like she's completely innocent right hypothetically um i think she is yes, like i'm sure. giving a hypothetical sure. example okay alternate universe she's 100 percent guilty i still don't want to do that because I, I like i feel like i've already put my reputation on the line enough and also you know she leaked the dms me and her had to kumo and he leaked it to chud logic and he chud logic leaked it to well everyone and to me that's a breach <laughs> of breach of my boundaries breach of a uh, breach of my trust so i'm like why the fuck would i want to help you after that <laughs> maybe don't be fucking hitting on her in dms you fucking creep uh, uh, I can't. I can't defend her. I can't. I can't talk about this anymore. It's this fourteen been a, this has pages. Been a, a, a violation of my trust. Also, thank you, uh, for subscribing. Seriously, thank you so much. Um, I, I in all seriousness, uh, we we do have a lot of a uh, lot of new faces who are watching thanks to the raid. Um, if you guys if you guys want to, um, we do live streams like this uh every, every this is like an extra live stream uh for the moment you know um we do uh, morning shows every sunday um and as of now every thursday uh that might change but sunday is always a guaranteed uh day that we're gonna have a, a nerdy live episode uh so if you guys are interested in that you know you're uh, on your way to work on your way to school just waking up uh, nerdy live that's how you should wake up in the morning. Anyway, let's continue. So, yeah, like, I, I'm not saying, she, yeah. So, I'm saying hypothetically, even if she is innocent, I, I don't want to push forward anymore. I'm, I'm tired, and uh... 
I'm tired and I just want to make my response um, show that to show evidence that like uh, like how this came to be i'm basically going to tell say in my video what i'm saying to you right now uh but i'm just going to explain how it got so stu oh. um stupid hopefully in a better format because jesus christ and um i know not everybody is going to be going to forgive me and a lot of people are gonna uh oh uh oh someone has a shitty connection Something tells me it's Jar. Uh, I'm mostly confused as to why people are calling me a pedo over like me saying that thing about the 14 year old where I was like, haha, no, blah. I was like, oh no. I haven't seen anyone calling him a pedo over that stuff. I've I've seen people call you like a groomer defender, you know that 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 type of thing. I haven't seen anyone call you like a um a pedo or anything. I've 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 seen uh, Kumo call you a rapist. <laughs> I've definitely seen that, uh, but like I I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything involving. Uh, let's delay ads for a little bit. Um, I haven't seen anything involving you being a uh, a groomer as of yet. Well, we got a Google Doc. We got a Google Doc later, chat. <laughs> No, I didn't groom the 14-year-old or interact with them. Oh, no, that's what pedos do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I disagree with this point, but I think that the reason that they say it is because it's like, oh, well, why are you even thinking about it that way? Like, again, I disagree with that. Um, I think that's malicious okay, framing. Okay. But... okay, like, 14-year-old comes into my DMs and says... I don't know why he has to make this a point. Because obviously, like, everyone knows, everyone with a reasonable fucking brain knows that he's not, like, grooming the four, the 14 year old that tried to message him, right? But, like, I, I, like, I don't know. This is, this is clearly, like, his brain fixating on the wrong points when he should, like, focus on the fact that he defended a child groomer. A child groomer. You know? <laughs> Um, if I, uh, ha if I remember this video right there, a brain aneurysm moment is at good point. Oh no. Oh no. It gets worse. Christ. It gets worse. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no, no, no. Hey, I'm 14. I want to make you hopey. They, they, sp they didn't say happy. They said hopey, which is a lot more of a flirtatious way, at least in my opinion, and I thought... How the f... What the fuck? That's some weird-ass flirting right there. If that's... Oh my god, you think, you think he said that to his girlfriend? You think he said that to his girlfriend? Dude, that's probably how he got the date, was that he used that line. How, what did he say? Hoopy? Hoopy? He said he probably said to her, he said, yo, girl, I want to make you hoopy. <laughs> and dude, she she said yes to the date then and there. Thought even if I respond with what do you mean by that? It's going to be taken the wrong way. So I was just like blocked like immediately. Like I was like, this is a fucking setup. Like, I know what's going to happen. And I just block them. Yeah. Like I, no, I, I more what I said, like no, no, no grooming or dms being shared well D dms are going to be shared but i mean like even if i say something as simple as what do you mean by that i thought that was going to be taken the wrong way like someone was going to screenshot that and it's like ah he what he said was mm, what do you mean by that mm. they were going to word it like that you know what i mean like with text yeah. i don't know why he's so hyper fixating on this like you, you you blocked and you moved on this is like me explaining that like well you see well, you see, well, you see, I had, I had to block the doxer account because uh, if I, if I didn't block the doxer account, uh, X, Y, and Z would have happened. Like, dude, just like, you don't, you don't need to explain. <laughs> That's the part of your story you don't need to explain because no one fucking cares about it. What, what, what the, what the, what the fuck? Oh, uh, and, and it gets worse. It gets worse in this call. Oh, no. You can't tell tone. No. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think that that was malicious framing either way. Um, 
Yeah, um, okay. So, I think what you're saying makes sense. Um, so, with all of that being said, like, do you stand by, like, do you, do you really stand by any of the stuff that you said in that video? Oh, yeah. I mean... Jar. Jar. No. Jar, no. He still stand by he still stands by the video? Okay, okay. I'm I'm probably having a pause Andy moment as we speak. But Jar, I swear to Christ, if you don't explain yourself, I don't think I don't think I don't think it's gonna it's gonna go well for you. I don't think <laughs> Jar. I mean oh no. other people like even Chud agreed with some of my points. Sure. What were the wait? What were the points that he agreed with you on? What 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 I, would you still stand by? Do you think? Okay, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna get a definitive answer, chat. Okay, I don't think dictionary definition wise it was grooming. Like, we have to be hyper technical about everything because it's tism. We have to be hyper fucking technical about all this bullshit, apparently, you know? Ignore the fact that, like, literally everything she did, under, like, constitutes as, like, what, what the internet defines as grooming, right? Fucking ign ignore that fact, right? Uh, well, you know, technically, technically speaking, uh, it does not quantify as, as uh, what the dictionary definition of grooming is. Like, I don't think what she did was grooming. Like, when I think of grooming... Bro. Bro. Chat, okay. This is this girl. She sent a rape comic to a child. And then proceeded to have the... Ch again, the child... Read the art to her. Read the comic. Because she wanted the child's opinion on the rape fantasy comic. Am I going insane here, Chad? Is that... That feels a little bit like grooming. Just a, just a little bit like grooming. A little bit like a sex pest. And Jar's just like, oh, I don't... I, what's wrong with this? I don't see anything wrong with this. I mean, come on, guys. This does not fit the textbook definition of grooming. I think of, uh... Like, someone trying to get with the child or get nudes from the child or something else. I, I don't think it's grooming, and I don't think and I think it's dumb when people say, "Oh, well, there's multiple different definitions of grooming, like grooming someone for a in a position of power." It's like, listen, if you were like, buddy, like, gee, I, dude, I wish you fucking had this backbone all of a sudden when you were talking to Chud, because chat, chat, do I need to remind everyone how much of a pussy this guy was when he was talking to Chud? Because Chud said a lot of this, said a lot of that stuff, like the multiple definition stuff. And like he pushed back a little bit. But as soon as Chud got angry with him, well, not, I don't want to say angry, but as soon as she pushed against him, Jarwin was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you're, 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 you're right. You're right. You're right, Chud Logic. You're right. What a fucking spineless weasel, man. Like um, uh, H, I'll just call you. Can I call you H? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. If you were a dog, let's say hypothetically, in real life, your job is uh, being a dog groomer. I don't think you would be too happy if I made a video called H is a groomer. Right. Like, 100%. Well, what, like, what? Am I, am I not supposed to call a dog groomer uh, a groomer then? Like, you're so hyper. Like, who, who, <laughs> who the fuck makes videos? About dog groomers calling them groomers. Like, that's not... Obviously, that's not a fucking scenario that's going to happen. What? This point's fucking stupid. Because, like, obviously... Guess what? And, like, in, like, an IR... Like, in terms of, like, real life. Real life. 
obviously if I say, Hey, there is the dog groomer, their groomer as a, as like their full-time job, right? No one IRL is going to think that person grooms children. No one. That's only, that's only like an online thing. And like, and this is this is where like Jar like really shoots himself in the foot. He's like hyper he's hyper fixated on technical definitions when he does not need to be. Like, <laughs> like he's ruining he's ruining his his online career because like he ha he has a problem with technical wording. I bet one hundred percent Jar. Uh, Jar like to be uh scolding. I mean, there that's <laughs> all you're saying. He likes he likes to be uh he likes to be scolded. Who knows? Who knows? I don't want to know what that guy is into. I want to keep that guy fifty feet away from me. Well, grooming. I don't want the word grooming to be watered down because I think it's a very serious thing and a very serious allegation. The problem though is what City did is so categorically over the top inappropriate that yeah, yeah talking sexually to a minor one would say that's a little over the line you know you know jar i'm gl i'm glad you agree i'm glad you agree on that i guys guys this this just in i have a really hot take right now um murder bad murder bad chat i know I know it's really that it's, that's a really hot take. I know I'm brave for saying that. You don't need to, you know, just spell it out. You know, but like I, I'm, I'm so brave for having that opinion. <laughs> like wh whoop de doo jar. It's hard to not call it grooming, and I can understand why people called it grooming. And I should have, I should have been way harsher on Stinny. That's like my biggest issue. It's just, I, I never said what she did was okay. But I, I right. but you were downplaying a lot of what she did, because I remember this line from your video. You you were saying that well in the commu in the community that she was in, it's normal for uh thirteen fourteen year olds to talk this way. Well, the child like you and Kumo have the same opinion of well the child uh talked to her first, ignoring the fact that Sydney is the adult in this situation. And should should have shut that down any talk like that to begin with. Really should have been harsher in my words. Like, like there, it's hard to find a word that's between inappropriate and grooming. It's hard to find like a, a middle ground there. She was being sexual towards a child, man. Like... <laughs> There, there's there's no other way to do this i know it's 14 uh, like you pages want, you want to have oh, 14 pages oh no oh is that a new new subscriber to the channel thank you thank you so much uh hang on hang on yep uh thank you uh what does that say uh says that that that, that 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 does that say ums art <laughs> uh thank thank you thank you for uh for sub subscribing all right all right uh let me back to the video uh yeah, the other no, thing is I I, I think it's, the other thing do you know about the puppy chan drama uh puppy chan drama do i even want to know about that wait oh no why wait 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 is that something turkey tom covered hang on hang on did did turkey tom talk about puppy chan why does that sound vaguely familiar Okay, I gotta look this up real quick. Turkey Tom Puppy Chan. Oh no, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember this video. Puppy Chan, artist insanity. Uh, that was another. That was another case of like someone who grew up in um a really really degenerate art community. And so when they started talking that way towards minors and draw, I think they drew um, not safe for work art of like their minor character or something along those lines. It's really weird. Um, let me let me skim through a bit of this right here. So that way, you know, we can uh, get an example of the story. And oh, my God, we reached a tweet with some censors in it.
to face. Square up. It was. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on, Mr. Stone Toss ripoff. That comic actually touched people instead of your bait comic, which only. Instead of being a pussy and screenshotting me, talk to me face to face. Square up. It was somewhat yeah. aggressive, which she excused by being on her period. Having assumed Autumn was biologically male, he asked how this was possible. This only led to more backlash as he was asking a minor about their genitals. The public backed Puppy Chan to the point that she broke 40k that day. In celebration, she got McDonald's. Meanwhile, Anton was berated to the point that he locked down his accounts. He didn't back down though, immediately mocking her appearance. A few individuals <laughs> on Twitter claiming to be his more rabid fans drew art of her being lynched and mutilated. Eventually, all right, that's uh, that's a bit of a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> bit a bit of a yikes. Actually, he went so far as to put her in his game. Her attacks include period blood, a horde of trans people, and diaper furs yum yum time. Things continued to escalate as what? more and more people. What the fuck? What the fuck is this bullshit? People got involved. That included YouTubers like Daft Pina, Prison Mate Luke, Just Stop, and Izzy's. They're dude. All these fucking people are freaks and degenerates, man. Every single one of these people he just mentioned are fucking losers. Coverage necessarily fixated on his initial fight with Autumn, of which she appeared sympathetic. This led her to reach far beyond Twitter artists, which was the catalyst for a new wave of popularity. I'm not going to go too much farther into that drama because it isn't very relevant, but after Daft Pina's video, the two seemed to make up after having a private conversation. He removed her from the game and even posted this drawing but Daft would end up leaking a screenshot of Anton planning to backstab her when she turned 18. His justification was that her biggest shield at the time was her being underage. Indeed, some of the arguments were a bit ridiculous. Many framed her fursona as a direct representation of Autumn to argue that he drew NSFW of a minor. It was a way to dunk on him, even if it wasn't entirely fair. On November 20th, 2020, Autumn celebrated her 18th birthday. This is notable for several reasons. Autumn had painted her mother as beyond reason. For example, when she trashed an expensive Pokemon plushie for being demonic well so yeah this basically this is a person that's uh very very mentally ill uh, you'll notice that's a pattern in art commentaries that everyone in it it's f severely mentally ill severely mentally ill uh with with no hope of any redemption much much like uh <laughs> much like jar uh that sounds familiar but no so puppy chan <clears throat> was this autistic Twitter artist that a lot of people backed and then she did a bunch of stupid stuff and then no one supported her anymore. And that's kind of how I feel about Jack because like Jack makes their video and people are just like, oh, let me give you $10,000. And again, okay, I don't get the hyperfixation on Jack. Jack might be, might be a terrible person. Who knows? You know what I haven't seen Jack do though? Uh, talk sexually to a minor send minor um fucking rape porn you know i haven't, I haven't seen jack do that <laughs> i'm tired of people saying well jack is disabled so that's why they can't get a job listen i'm autistic too i don't like fucking working i say stupid shit all the time that gets me fired i still find ways to make money i i will do um some ubering until i can find a new job um yeah. and like it just seems weird like i i just don't like the idea of my tax dollars going to someone and then that someone also asking for ten thousand dollars like <laughs> i don't like the idea of one of the i don't like the idea of someone who refers to themselves as it gets to take my tax money and then they get ten thousand dollars for free i mean i thought this was america I thought this was America. <laughs> oh man, this is this is this is great. This is this is great, guys. We're not we're not even like a portion done with the stream yet, too. This is amazing. We have another like hour long thing to react to. This is great. We're an hour and seventeen minutes in. Buckle up and get some popcorn. Get some drinks. Fuck. Like I. I... I want to make this clear. I don't receive money from the government. I've never gotten autism bucks because I don't think I need it. I think I should work. <laughs> I've never gotten tism bucks. Uh, I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad you clarified that. I'm glad you answered the um the the, <laughs> the disability check allegations, man. I'm absolutely glad you answered that.
work. Because yeah. I think it's stupid to make people like, it, like this one girl I dated. Dated, I actually broke up with her because. She... <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> what? The, what the fuck is this bullshit? What the fuck? Bro. Bro, you can't get better than this, man. You you can't. Uh didn't Brad taste some music? Ask for a ton of money uh to to move. He graduated rehab today, lol. Yeah, well, well yeah, wasn't it dude, he was he was supposed to go to rehab. But like and like be like disconnected from like the online space. All I've seen from him is is him being online, not making money. She was doing that, and she was, like, more functional than me, and I just could not handle that. Like, the idea of someone. Listen, the government tries to screw you any way they can, so if you can do some screwing back to them, go for it, man being able to work and st still uh taking taxpayer money <laughs> um yeah, that makes sense i will admit uh the main thing i hate though the main thing out of this entire drama that i hate aside from the jar simp for cine <laughs> is the fact that i kept on telling um is the fact that i brought up that Pyro learned of Ivory's age when I returned 16. I played the clip clear as day. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the Tism Rage speaking right now, chat. This is the Tism Rage. Here we go. And he even said afterwards, I shouldn't have continued the furry stuff with him. And all people, and the only reaction I got from people was, oh, but Pyro didn't know Ivory's age. It's like, am I going crazy? Did you guys not hear what I said? But, but like, no, you're misunderstanding people's point. You see, when, when people say that Pyro didn't know the age, initially when they were speaking, Pyro did not know the age. Sonny knew the age the entire goddamn time. Also, also, if you're trying to equate, if you're trying to equate what Cindy did to what what Pyro did. And you said you have such a fucking hate boner for Pyro, which don't get me wrong. OK, Pyro is a fucking weird ass dude. OK, I think the only reason why he got off scot free from that whole thing was because Tom, no offense to him. He did a terrible ass video on Pyro, a terrible ass video. And so, uh, not Jar, uh, Pyro was able to get away with it. And he has a career to this day. Um, and I think, I think, like, it's going to be a while till we see anything uh, pop up from him again. But, you know, if he tries to do anything else to a child, you know, we'll, we'll see it. <laughs> but, like, dude, like. It's so weird that, like, he, he's trying to equate these two things. He clearly hates Pyro for whatever reason. He hates Pyro. But at the time, he loved, not loved, but he, like, he was infatuated with Sonny. But, like, you're trying to equate the two when you very clearly have a bias against and for the people involved. It's just, it's just weird. Again, this is part of his hyper fixation when like, I'm sorry. Wasn't it like, didn't Chud fucking break it down for you? Chud broke, broke it down for you. Hang on. I need to go back to Chud's stream on it. Give me one moment. Let's see. Is this it right here? No, no, that's the call. Uh, uh, t -t 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 I oh, here we go. I finally confronted just a robot. Don't you see how you, you, bro? You have pinned your channel 
to the reputation of someone and you've not even reviewed all the evidence. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your programming, Mr. Robot? I was going to go through it. Trust me. I was like, I had this all planned out. It's just, I didn't expect. Okay, okay, I know that's not the section we were looking for, right? Maybe he'll address it too in this call. But like, that's a, the weird thing. This is the, this is the problem, is that he didn't look at any of like the actual conversations that happened in those in those Discord messages in the doc, right? But like, he has sections of of his video already edited, already made, where he's like trying to trying to um make counterpoints against the 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 discord messages right so like you you can't be saying that like well i was gonna look at them i just didn't get the time to when you already made sections of your video trying to debunk them you know yeah yeah no i mean i i understand your frustration with that honestly yeah like Dude, if I said something like that, I think you would give me a sideways uh, sideways glance like, oh, yeah, I was talking with this one girl. I didn't know her age. And when she, I found out about her age, I shouldn't have continued um, my furry session with her. And you would be like, what do you mean by that? Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent. Um, No, I'm totally with you there. Um, So kind of on that same wavelength of just stuff in the video itself like what the interview do you do, if you could do it again would you take out the casting couch jokes uh, hang on oh you <laughs> gets confronted with an actual point uh 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 uh, uh hey hang on hang on <laughs> Dude, bruh, brother. You're fine. Oh my god, it. it... What is he responding to here? Okay, so apparently, even harmful opinions is now talking about me. Oh my god, dude, why are you fucking. You're fucking hyper fixated on, like, oh my god, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, this person's talking about me. Uh, wow. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Everybody. <laughs> He's like, oh, wow. Just going to make the rounds. Okay, so what about the couch jokes? Uh, I was just oh saying. Oh, my dude. Pay attention to, like, your actual interview questions. No one gives a shit who's making videos on you. Everyone's making videos on you, dude. Pay attention to the conversation you're in. Like, holy shit, man. It's amazing you're able to get at fucking anything done. If you're just constantly like, hey, uh, huh? hey, no, what did you say? What did you say? Hey, no. And if you could do it all again, like the interview in particular. Um, yeah, absolutely. You... Absolutely. I was. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I've already taken the L on that. I, I that was OK. The reason for that was I did a bunch of videos on Daft Pina. And when people uh, hang on, let me check this real quick. And when people saw my, yeah, um, one of Daft's friends said, why don't you reach out to Daft first? And I said, okay, next time a drama happens, I'll reach out to them. But the problem is that was the first ever quote unquote interview I ever did. And uh, I was tired. Stinny was tired. Uh, they just came home from work. I was up late. I think we're in completely different time zones. Yeah, but so what I'm talking about in particular isn't like something that was completely, completely, completely for forgets like what the actual question was and goes off on something com like something else. Of course, he do the interview again. That was one of the best goon sessions ever. Oh, yeah, true. Dude, he was so satisfied by the end of that, man. He 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 was he was on cloud nine when that interview took place because like, oh my God, he finally got to goon uh, in her, with her in a call, you know? Said in the interview, it was uh, put in post. Like I'm talking about the the casting couch jokes, uh, like how Cine appeared, like do you, you know what the casting couch is, right? I can't, what I know, I don't. Oh, fucking God. 
bruh. No, no, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you, 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 you have to like put it in like Tumblr porn categories for him to understand what it is. I don't know what that is. Oh, really? Okay, so that might yeah, be malicious I, I, on the part of your editor. Jeez. Okay. Um. Wow. What? What do you? What do you mean by cat? I'm scared now. What? What's the? What? How? This man, by the way. Chat. Do. Chat. Do you know how old this guy is? By the way, he is close to thirty. He's close to thirty, and he doesn't know what a goddamn casting couch is. I, you 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 have to explain it to him in like Star Wars lore, what a casting couch is. The casting couch, dude. I'm just like kind of. I, I'm actually kind of stunned right now. This is kind of crazy. Okay, so I, I was gonna tell you this anyways because, dude, the fucking your your editor <laughs> definitely was against City. <laughs> like every, did you notice that the, the editor every single time the word pedophile or a uh, cosmodor was mentioned during the interview, uh, they showed a PNG of Cinny. <laughs> Uh, during the call? Yeah. Well, I thought the Cosmodor Cine combo was funny, but like, uh, I don't know what you mean by like picture. Uh, like, I, I, I. Oh my god, dude! Do you not? Do you not fucking pay attention to anything? How did How did he last this long on YouTube? Holy shit, man. How did he last this long? Like, being this absent-minded at the age of fucking 30. Holy shit, this is giving me a fucking brain aneurysm. What the, what the fuck? How are you close to 30 and, like, you're, you're like, this absent-minded? He has the fucking mind of, like, a goddamn toddler. I will have to go back and rewatch my video. I, I did not realize that. Yeah. I kind of just more so listened to the- Wait, wait, wait. Do you not check your- Like, I understand you were kind of pressed for time to upload it. But, like, do you not check your videos? Do you not check your videos to make sure there's nothing bad in them? Brother. Brother. Oh, my God. His editor could have screwed him over so many times before this. That's fucking funny, dude. It's so fucking funny. Holy shit. The call. Like, I was Looks like, like oh, fair just... Yeah, I mostly just listened to it because I was like, oh, gameplay is already added. Um, But, like, I, I, I'm I'm so confused. What is this casting um couch stuff? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what the fucking what the fuck? Bro Brother uh, 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 what what is this cow casting couch you speak of? Is it is it where you get movie roles? <laughs> By the way, he pays his editor two hundred dollars a vid, bro. Bro, that sounds like the easiest fucking gig ever. Like, I don't think he uploads that. For, I I don't think he ever uploaded that frequently. But like, holy shit, man, two hundred dollars a video, and you can get away with like that kind of like like. Uh, dodgy behavior and everything like holy shit sign me up for that jar jar i take back everything i said if you let me be your editor and you increase it to like 250 a video 250 a video and we gucci brother we gucci okay so let me explain the casting couch <laughs> No, no, he's not. There, There's a whole section of this where they explain what the fuck a casting couch is. Holy shit, man. 
Holy fucking shit. How did I ever... By the way, I used to watch this guy when I was, like, I, when I was a kid. I have no idea what I... what. <laughs> There's a difference between uh, plain innocent and plain stupid. Uh, $200 wouldn't cover the therapy that you would need after. <laughs> True. True. But, I mean, that's $200 extra dollars, man. I could use that. Uh, the casting couch is basically a porno. And it's a kind of porno where it, like, starts out as an interview. And... It's a girl sitting on a couch and then after like the preliminary interview, like the two people fuck like the cameraman and like the interviewer and the interview. Wait, is that the big, is that the big black buff black guy? He did not just say that. He did not just say that. <laughs> he did not just say that. No, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. You know, you know sometimes, sometimes I guess it couldn't involve a black guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, I used to watch him too as a kid. Crazy how uh, incompetent this guy is now. Like, wow, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you sweet summer child. I feel so bad for you, uh, for your past self. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I was like, yo, he's dunking on Christians, man. It's so cool. It's so cool. He's dunking on Christians. Um, may maybe. But, like, the biggest part about it is that, like, it's called the casting couch because this girl sits on this very recognizable um, couch. And basically, three different times during your interview, um, it cut to you as a cameraman and... um. Not like, obviously nothing graphic was happening, but it was just like very obvious implications. Um, you as the cameraman and Cine sitting in the casting couch. This is the first time I've ever heard of the, about this. Like I'm- <laughs> Bro, I didn't, I didn't realize he'd be like this. Dude, how sheltered was this guy? Like, holy shit. Holy shit, man. Look, listen, okay? It, it, you know, it's it's good in life to, like, not know everything about porn, okay? I know, I, I, I sadly know a guy at work who, like, can name a lot of, uh, a lot of porn stars. Like, he can name his top ten plus some honorable mentions. You know what I mean, chat? So, like, the, like obviously, you don't want to go that extreme, but, like, Holy shit, man. Autism and moral grandstanding is what you, what gives these people a platform. I I guess, man. I I guess like holy, holy shit. Holy shit. I'm going to ask my editor about this now, but like I am <laughs> Who is his editor? Does anyone know the name of his editor? Like goddamn. This is like I don't think anyone has brought this up to me yet, but wow. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. heard anybody bring it up, and that's kind of why I was stunned. Because I, you know, like I thought, to me, like that was one of the biggest things that I saw. And I was like, Jesus Christ, that's, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Um, and so, yeah, no, I mean, the fact that you don't even know what the casting couch is actually like kind of stun locks me. Like, wow. Um, I I'm, I'm, I'm not a big porn guy. I'm, I'm not no, I mean, very... Funny. Okay. Okay, chat. I'm spoiling it. I'm spoiling it now. He says he's not a big porn guy. There is a Google Doc that we are going to be reading later where apparently, allegedly, 
he would commission art from a 17-year-old artist to draw him not safe for work images of Jaden animation. But spo- um, we're spoiling a bit there, but that's the accusation levied against him. Uh, I believe he was very sheltered since he mentions he lived with some very Christian parents. Uh, oh, yes. Even his editor was talking to Jar, saying that he shouldn't do the video and then uh, and then fucked with the video when he did it. I mean, what better way to protest as an editor? Like this is this is this is the thing with 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 Jar. Is that okay? Everyone, everyone outside of like the like the anti groomer defense force was telling him how bad of an idea this was, and he fucking ignored everyone. So he wants to like pretend like, oh yeah, like I will, I I wanted to get people's opinion on this, when like every instance I've seen of like someone outside of like Sydney's circle talk to him about the situation, it's just them telling him not to do it. And then he does it. Uh, But still being around as long as he has makes me wonder how he never found out if he's being genuine about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so. It's uh, let's see. He edits his own video, but he wears pants while doing it, so he thinks it's a different person. Oh, you think he's suffering from schizophrenia? Yo, yo. <laughs> that might explain a lot. That might explain a lot. Holy shit. Fair enough, enough dude. Porn. Fair enough. Like, I, I'm not a big porn guy either, to be fair. But, like, the only reason I know about it is because it's, like, a pop culture thing. Um, And, you know, I'm just, like, a fucking dumbass, like, edgy humor person and so like i i know about those jokes um but yeah i mean that's kind of insane that your editor did that without even like asking because like it made you look so much worse in that interview dude oh my god like it also you know in all seriousness i would love to get in contact with his editor to get an interview with him because holy shit if it's true that like he was against the video and he purposely edited it like that to uh to make to make it worse i want to see that i am not gonna lie chat i want to see that his girlfriend is actually <laughs> googly eyes glued to his hand <laughs> yeah good old good old righty right uh <laughs> You know, when he called her, when he called her Mrs. Wright, uh, people weren't expecting <laughs> what what she actually was, you know? The interview, do you, do you think that your questions were leading? Because I, I, I know what you said yeah. about, like, you were tired and stuff like yeah. that. And, like, I get that. Yes, my, my questions were leading. Okay. Uh, they were. They were absolutely. I, I was not letting her answer him i I, it was pretty much just me talking let's be real here it was me talking i kind of just wanted it to be like done and over with and i rushed through that interview i kind of wanted to do like a redo of that interview but i kept on going back and forth whether i should do that or not yeah no fair yeah Uh, um and with the whole with the whole like other calls that y'all had, because like obviously y'all had multiple other calls, um, were all of those about your video? I I can't recall. Okay, I don't like to. I really really don't like the commentary community amnesia's excuse of I don't remember because like, it's so stupid. It's it's just um the problem is I was on sleeping pills and I remember a lot of them. You don't understand, guys. I was on I was on Ambien. What do you expect? I I ain't gonna remember stuff. Uh, he tried to be a hero. That's the whole thing about the video. Like his video gives off hero complex. Yeah, no, he wanted to save uh, he wanted to save Sydney from the false allegations. One of his editor got paid for the video as well. 
<laughs> Yo, if he did, get your bag, King, and run fucking away. Back and forth <laughs> vigorously. Uh, <geez. laughs> uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys, by the way. All of you, all of you watching, you guys are awesome. I just want you to to know that you guys seriously are awesome. Thanks again. Now recording for uh, rating them being about the video, but I think a few of them were also just shooting the shit, just chatting about stuff. And it mostly happened because my roommate was on his trip, and I just need someone to talk to for a few minutes so I can pass out. And dude, just fucking watch videos. Just fucking, just fucking watch videos, man. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. And yeah, I mean, I almost called someone else as well, but what? <laughs> what? Like, what is he a child? Like, did he need his parents to talk to him to fall asleep as well? Like, bruh, bruh. What I did was incredibly unprofessional, incredibly stupid. It's not a romantic thing at all. It's just my mm. nicotine addiction keeping me from falling asleep. And <laughs> He's blaming it on the nicotine chat. He's blaming it on the goddamn nicotine. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Blame it on the nicotine chat. It's. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Uh, it, it was super cringe. He literally told, uh, he literally told he thought of himself, uh, uh, he thought himself, himself Lyle and Peaches as the three musketeers. Oh, no. 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 Dude. What the fuck? He thought he, he himself, Lyle Convoy, and Hopeless Peaches were the three fucking musketeers? What the fuck is that bullshit? The fuck is that bullshit? <laughs> um, he was high off the nicotine. Yeah, dude. The fucking, the fucking nicotine made him defend a groomer. Uh, hashtag stay off the zins, my guy. You know, stay off them zins. And if I don't talk to someone, I look at a screen. If I look at a screen, it wakes me up. Okay, well, like, listen to some fucking podcast, man. Listen to ASMR. Anything but call, but call the lady you're investigating for grooming. Or, I'm sorry, interviewing for grooming, because you didn't really do any investigating. And like I need total sure. darkness. I even have like blackout curtains and all that. And I can understand how people got the wrong idea from those. It's the problem is I have none of them recorded because they were all on mobile. I can only record stuff on uh, my PC, not on my mobile device. Um, on on iPhone, you can. Just robot reveals himself as an Android peasant. And I, I've heard that I might have said, like, oh, you are my type. And I was like, fuck, did I? Dude, you did. You admitted that she, like, you admitted that you were attracted to her on Chud's stream. He admitted to that. He admitted that he was attracted to her, by the way. So, uh, why is he saying smoking makes me do, do weird stuff? Sounds like he's trying to use uh, drugs making me made me do it yeah it was satan it was satan who made him do it and uh guys just 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 running it out there um we do have memberships that you can join if you if you're feeling so generous uh you can join uh the super nerd one tier for just 99 cents and uh you get a shout out at the end of every live stream and you get um you get bonus content such such as like pre-show uh videos um exclusive members only streams that I'm doing a lot more lately and uh you get videos early as well so uh you know uh if you're feeling generous like I said you can just you can join for just 99 cents it's uh it helps out the channel a lot
I say that I'm questioning if I did say that in the last call I had with her or not. But if I did, I definitely I, I'm like 90 percent sure I followed up with. But I have a girlfriend and she's. Yo, I'm like dead ass attracted to you. Yo, but yo, you know, I got a girlfriend, man. Definitely my type. Yeah, because like, here's the thing. I don't know what Cindy looks like in real life, and I I do chat. I know what she looks like in real life, and I gotta say, mid, mid, she's pretty mid. <laughs> Yo, that groomer right there, she mid. <laughs> this <laughs> dude, this guy, this guy, oh, like holy shit! But he, he's pretty clearly attracted to like the voice and everything, though. I defended Hopeless Peaches, and I saw what Hopeless Peaches looked like in real life. They look nothing like their avatar. I'm going to say that. Um, and that's the nicest way I can put it. Oh, I've seen they Hopeless look like Peaches, too. They look like from Elden Ring. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Like, I have a girlfriend. I, I love her to death. She's... She was 90 pounds when I met her, and, uh... What? How is that important? How is that important for, for us to know? Jar, how... So what I'm hearing is... What I'm hearing, chat, is that he don't like them... He don't like them big booty Latinas. Jar said... No thick goth girls for me. What? What? What, what the fuck? What the? What the fuck, bro? Bro, a jar is a feeder, probably. Probably no, no. He's saying here he don't like the he don't like he don't like them fat bitches. He don't like them fat bitches. He like he like he like his women skinny. <sighs> She's just so amazing. She's so amazing because she's so skinny. <laughs> dude, dude. Okay, you know what? You know what? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, can barely confirm how long they've been together to FPS on Chud stream, but here he gives her weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh she started 90 uh his goal was 650 <laughs> no i think i think he likes some anorexic girls okay he watches he watches eugenia cooney one-handed if you catch my drift you know what i mean chat dude does not like himself some thick goth girls okay and this is you know we mentioned earlier how tipster might defend him I think this is where Tipster would be like, nah, nah, bro. If you ain't, you ain't about that thick goth mommy lifestyle, then I can't support you. You know, I think <laughs> I think that's where Tipster would draw the line. Look, I just want to know. Uh, you just want to know. Does she know she's his girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, does she know that? Oh my god, what if she's like a state appointed like caretaker, right? But, like, he has it in his head that, like, oh, my God, we're, like, in a relationship together. And he's, like, completely delusional about it. That would be hilarious. Yeah. No, no, I'm with you, man. I get that. Yeah, and I, I would never just be like, oh, I'm going to simp for this person getting canceled because do you know about the Coyote Lovely drama? Vaguely. Yeah, okay, he was a predator hunter. And he drew, hired people to draw pictures of him licking hypnotist Sappho's butt. And uh, he had a scat fetish and he had a lot of woo-woo conversations with Sappho. And I was like... Yeah, he was a furry that hunted other like predator furries. But like, obviously he's a furry, so he's just as degenerate as other furries, you know? So like... I started to notice Jar was a weirdo 
when he started uh started uh talk talked about JJ animation telling her in a video to go out with him what so his obsession with JJ animation is established okay that's great it's funny how he doesn't want to be like Bo Blacks yet he shares his girlfriend's weight like Bo Blacks did with his girlfriend's problems oh my god true and how he acted towards Peaches in uh, in on a video where they were confronting someone. Oh, lovely. That's fucking lovely bullshit right there. Let's continue. Of all people to go after, why Sappho? Like, and I, I learned that from Coyote not, not to do that. <laughs> bro, bro, out of everyone... Why go after Sydney Bear? You know, pot calling kettle black here. Pot calling the fucking kettle black. Holy shit, man! Holy fucking shit. Um, and I also learned from Tipster not to do that. So, dude, he's fucking, he's fucking, t- dude. The one guy who would probably defend him in this situation. He's fucking throwing him under the bus. Bro, what the fuck, man? You're burning potential bridges. But I I think my situation is more similar to Tipster because he says things like uh, she wants to tip and all that other shit. But Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm I'm probably going to be done with drama after I respond to this because. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm fucking tired. I am fucking tired of commentary creators drama creators in general where like they're gung-ho about commentary shit right and then they get into drama and then they're suddenly like drama is like really toxic and like i don't i don't personally want to be involved with it anymore like that's it's just really toxic i don't want i don't want to have that in my life like bro you were completely fine when you when you were the one shitting on other people, but now that you're the tar- target, now it's suddenly not cool to do. I'm done with the drama. He ha- he has said that so many times before. Has he said that before? I guess uh, anorexic girls are are his type. Yeah. Doesn't JD Animation struggle with eating uh with an eating disorder? She does. She does. Even though she's um like if you guys have ever seen um seen like images of her, she's she's a very like 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 in terms of like anorexia, like she doesn't look like like a Eugenia Cooney. She's she looks like she's relatively healthy. At least like the pic the the few pictures we've seen of her published out there, right? Dude just love he loves himself some some from some skinny some skinny women. Which is fine, you know. He he can have them, okay? He can have all the skinny women, okay? Bring me the big booty Latinas. If I return to drama, I know I'm gonna do this again. And I, as Next Jed pointed out earlier, the Black Queens. Just this is not the first time I've done this. Um, this is like the fifth time. First with Princess Elizabeth, 013. Second time with, uh, what do you call him? Um, Toby, what third the, time with... What the, what the fuck is he talking about here? Oh, wait, is he talking about, like, the other, like, dramas he was involved in that, like, got him controversy? What the fuck? Peaches, fourth time with, uh, Cal and the Maureen Cal drama, and now this is the fifth time. And three out of, three out of five of those didn't go well. Um, <laughs> bro, bro, this guy, this guy right here, done with drama, chill stream, John, John's cool, lies that we <laughs> we tell ourselves. Hey, hey, I would say I'm cool a little bit, just a little bit, you know. Uh, the first thing I hear is in terms. <laughs> In terms of anorexia. <laughs> hey, Daddy. I mean, he made a whole video and part it his 
done with drama and so on. So you see for yourself, yo yo yo. <laughs> what, what, wait, what does that say? Uh, yo yo yo. The uh, the kaiju is here. Techno kaiju. How you doing? How you doing? But like, <laughs> holy shit, man. <laughs> This guy is hilarious. Unintentionally, he's hilarious. The Princess Elizabeth situation was bullshit, but I know you don't know anything about that because that's 10 years old. Yeah. 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 Uh, basically, no, I, I see someone getting bashed. Unfortunately, five out, of, uh, five out of five times it was a female. Uh, and unfortunately, granted, Peaches transitioned later, but at the time they identified as female. And I just think I need to help this person. Um, and I will admit, dude, it's a fucking like I think uh, I forget who who mentioned it earlier, but like it's 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 the fucking like hero knight in shining I, I, like the knight in shining armor complex that this dude has, where he like he has to um, he has to be the one to defend women, like like dude, I get it, you know, like you want you want to be the big strong hero. But maybe like sit back for a bit and analyze the situation, um, because like might be some fucked up stuff. You never know. Like holy shit, man! It's easier to help a girl than a guy. It's it is easier. So like, dude, I love how he basically confirms it right there. If Sydney Bear did not have a pair of tits. There would be no like anti groomer defender squad for her. I love how he, he confirms it there. No joke, he repeats himself so much. Yeah, he brings up old drama uh like every chance he gets because he likes to act like he's uh he's a super victim. But dude, like it like it just it just this all proves that if if she, if she was a guy, Kumo, Jar, fucking all the weirdos, would would not be defending her. Female. He sounds like an incel. Well, well he, I don't think it's it's less incel-y and more just like he has the tism. You know, this is this is how his brain works. And they're they they're female. And. But actually, with when it comes to guys, I mean, like Miss Anthropony, Miss AKA Zaid, he was canceled up and down for making alt accounts and threatening people. But I still brought him on my channel because I think the guy makes some great fucking content, and I want him, um, I want his fans to still see his like new content he's working on. So, uh, like, at least there's one guy helped out, and it also. Uh, it, I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily a guy worth helping out if he's like that kind of like schizo where he's like. He makes alt accounts to hate on people. Sounds kind of weird, man. So it didn't go well for me. Yeah. Yeah. So retrospectively, like, would you continue to do drama, but just like get less personally involved? Or are you just like going to take a hard break? No, no, no. Complete full stop. Just talk about media. Yeah. yeah. Bullshit. Because it, Bullshit. It, you're you're going to talk about drama eventually. And you know what the first thing he's going to say in that video? He's going to be like, I know, I said I wouldn't talk about drama anymore, but I just had to talk about this. By the way, guys, I just, again, I just want to point out that, like, we're, we are two hours into the stream. We're halfway through this video. And we're still, we're still not done with the stream yet, guys. Buckle in, okay? Like I said, get a drink, uh, get some, get some food, get some popcorn, uh your beverage of choice we're in this for the long haul okay and uh you know what i just might call off work <laughs> so that way uh we can continue doing the stream if i get into drama i'm gonna do it again and in one more can this happens one more time i get canceled like this one more time there's no way i'm gonna come back from it like yeah. I, I think i can come back from this you think you can come back from this you're fucking delusional buddy <laughs> bro thinks he can come back from this little bro thinks he has a career after this like no no the fuck you don't motherfucker but if i do it again yeah no it will be a pattern of behavior it's pretty much a pattern of behavior now i just see someone getting canceled i feel bad for them i want to help 
I want to play devil's advocate, but I'm not smart. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. I, I mess up a lot. And granted, out of everybody I've ever tried to help out, Cinny is by far the most guilty. Okay. Interesting. I'm glad you acknowledge that. I'm glad you. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you acknowledge that, buddy. Well, also too, I would def. I would definitely say that um, uh, that hopeless peaches was guilty of a lot of what she did too. Why do these guys keep trying? Uh, barrel Senate, uh, cloud plastic, uh, cat's lair. The amount of people who have been uh, exposed since 2016 to now is crazy. <laughs> you come, buddy. Take take a break, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, from what I hear, uh, he acts very weird to female commentators or female YouTubers in general. But I'm not too sure on how accurate that is, but. It's not helping how he's acted with Cinny. Yeah, it, it definitely isn't. Uh, Jeebus, he needs to go out. He does. He does. Just a gooner, am I right? Yo, yo, there you go. Hashtag just a gooner. Or as a, as Kumo calls him, just a rapist. <laughs> just a rapist, guys. By the way, by the way, guys, you know, just a just to shill for a second. Make sure you hit that like button. There's a uh, there's about forty people in here. Only twenty have liked the stream. You know, I'm just saying, guys. Just saying. You know, like liking the stream goes a long way. Oh yeah, like um, more guilty than everybody else combined. So, kind of while I was like researching you, um, I did see and like again like I want to make sure none of this ever comes off as accusatory because like I'm I'm always just trying to like clarify points here. Um. But with the, Whoa, I saw this serious. one clip of you. I'm trying to remember which video it was that I saw. Can't remember. I, I might have been the Jaden Rule Thirty Four. I can't remember though. It might have been the Cine one. There's a there's a point in the video where you talk about the Toby drama and you say that. Um, and like by the way, I don't really have an opinion on the Toby drama because I'm not really too familiar with it. But like, I'm not um, familiar with it myself either. Like all all I know is like the Toby guy has a. Uh, has the Toby from Naruto as like a, a profile picture, I guess. That's you all I You say know. like there there are no videos of the about that that drama with you left. And uh, yeah, I believe so. And you were like every last one is gone. Yeah. Um and so I kind of I, I just wanted to clarify like what you meant by that. Like you didn't Oh. That wasn't like some kind of like thing of like Oh, like, if you make a video about this, I'm going to take it down. It was like a well, people have no, regretted no, their statements. Take... Okay, I, I dis yeah, I discredited their state. Well, okay, I will. <laughs> Let me think for a second. Okay, yeah. So it's the 14 pages. 14 pages. Oh no. Oh no. 14 pages of what? 14 pages of what? Uh, thank you for subscribing, yo, yo! Thank you for subscribing, Sage of Winds. Is the Mickey guy in Jar what? Yeah, yeah, that's Jar. That's Jar's profile picture on Discord. I know, just forgot for, forgot their name sometimes. Well, yeah, yeah. The uh, the Mickey Mouse guy is indeed a Jar. Jar, just a robot. Wait, that was in the Cine video. I want to make that clear. That was in the okay, Cine video. Okay. It wasn't yeah. in the uh, Jaden video. Yeah, my bad. Um, but during the Toby drama, a lot of people bashed me. A lot of people twisted what I said. And they either A, took their video down, or B, took their entire channel down. And uh, I felt like such a badass because it was like, granted, 90% of it was luck. A lot of them got canceled because of things nothing that had nothing to do with me, but all those videos are gone. So I was like, huh, maybe I was just kind of like, if this, if you guys are going to come after me, hey, just so you know, didn't go so well for these guys. Now, was that 
stupid of me to do absolutely that was so stupid um no no wait no wait no wait that wasn't my point my point was that if people bring that up like i said i'm pretty sure people are going to bring up the bring up the toby drama but all of those videos are gone that he is so fucking scattered brain dude there is not a single goddamn thought in his head that's coherent <laughs> like holy shit man say what you want about me i like to think to some degree, I'm coherent when it comes to live streaming. If anything, I'm worse when it comes to, to recorded videos. <laughs> it, it It is, looks just like you, what? <laughs> Thanks, man, uh, it's fitting, what? <laughs> I'm a spam hearts, nice profile picture, Teddy. <laughs> what What is Teddy's profile picture? Let me, let me look at that real quick. What is, what is Teddy's profile picture right here? Oh, it's just Teddy Roosevelt, of course. The uh, the, the most badass of presidents, I would argue, other than like uh, George Washington. Okay, you see, that's an example of getting fucking scattered brained right there, right? That's what I was saying. Now I remember. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And so, are they because... gone because people regret what they said, or why are they gone? Uh, some of the channels are completely gone. Um, Kai deleted his channel. Um, Omnia's channel may have gone deleted by Kai as well. Uh, there was a whole domestic. There's not a may. Her channel did get deleted by Kai. <laughs> There's no maybe involved in that. It's been it's been confirmed. The abuse scandal going sure. on, dude. I think you know. I think the Kai. The Kai Weiss drama and the Omnia stuff was like the first time I ever covered like art commentary on this channel. And it's been a, it's been a downward spiral ever since. Like, holy shit, man. These people are freaks. We need to we need to get a get a wall to uh to make sure that we never have to see from them again. Cause like, holy shit, man. I <laughs> Honestly, I was guessing it was a Nazi or something. <laughs> uh nah, nah, not not good, not good old Roosevelt. Nah. Uh, yeah, I know about that. Uh, yeah, it's complicated. I don't want to get into it. Uh, Prismate yeah, yeah. Luke, um, got dunked on by me, and he took his video down. Um, Fuman, I don't know why she took her video down, and neither do I. Uh, I also don't know why Dulu did that. They both eventually just took them down for whatever reason, but I think it was because a lot of their friends got taken down for one reason or another. And, so, but none uh, of that, you you didn't do anything to contribute to any of that, right? Holy shit, man! Just the Prism A Luke one. Holy shit. Well, what did you? What do you? Can you clarify? These people are amazing. Well, I I went over his video amazing on stuff. me. Oh, okay. Well, like, that's not I, what I mean. I I just mean purely in the sense of like you didn't take any action to take down those videos, right? I oh okay. I see what you're saying, bro. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't even flag. I didn't even flag Kumo's video. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even flag his reupload of mine. I I know. I've seen what happened to Kai. I've seen what happened to fuck. What's his name? Um, the guy who looks like. Monday Matt, that's what it is. Yeah, Monday Matt. I've seen what happens to those guys. When you strike a video down, I, I see what happens. So I, I do not strike videos down. I do not do that. Well, you, I shouldn't, never... you shouldn't be doing it just based on principle anyway. You know <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Goddamn. Reported a video. Yeah, okay. About me. About me. Like, if, if obviously, right. if I see it like a video of like some guy torturing his dog. Yeah, I'm going to flag it, but it, it, those videos are not all about me. Yeah. Nope, that's fair. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I just wanted to clarify that because it just, you know, it came off weird to me more than anything. Yeah, no, I'm not, um, I'm not, an Ill, I'm not alienations. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's exactly why I wanted to clarify with you because I was like, there's no way, there's no way he would do that. That's clearly just him like kind of misspeaking a little bit or just like kind of not, clarifying the point super hard which leaves it unfortunately as you know by now to <laughs> malicious interpretation um i know i know that's that's what happened in the toby drama that's why i wanted my wording to be perfect 
things got leaked and I knew I didn't want this to happen again. And it did. It's, it really sucks, man, because it really sucks. one of the worst things I've ever said was 16 isn't a kid. And what I meant was it was a 16 year old is a teenager. Very autistic of me. I know. <laughs> you see, and this is the problem again. This is the problem with you, man. You get into fucking like, well, um, actually, um, actually arguments and it fucking ruins you. It fucking ruins you, motherfucker. Don't be, uh, don't be getting into the fucking technical shit. And so many people, I, I will admit it was funny, but so many people said old enough to drive a car, old enough for jar. Won't lie. That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Old enough for a car, old enough for a jar. Yo. <laughs> this guy, by the way, J jar is like closer to the 30. I, again, I, I, I need to reemphasize re this. Jar is close to 30. And he's like talking like he's like a, go a goddamn child. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It admittedly is. Yeah. Um... Remember, guys, if you, for some reason, don't think that, like, you're cut out for YouTube, remember, just a robot somehow found a career. I think you can, too, honestly. I I think somehow you can get your own uh, career out there. Uh, just, <laughs> just uh, you know, just don't do what Jar did and defend grooming and pedophilia. So... <sighs> All right. No, I think I think everything you're saying here makes sense. I definitely am just understanding your perspective more. Um, so it, kind of retrospectively, like I know that you really don't like Kumo. And like just for the sake of this question, let's kind of take away the whole like uh, putting up your uh, video thing. Um, do do you kind of more agree with his side where he so he said that it wasn't grooming but it was sexual misconduct and like admittedly him, that's okay okay like i don't dude i need to understand the fucking beef between these two why do these motherfuckers hate each other so much i, I need to learn why because <laughs> like like i if we're like if we're like comparing sizes right Kumo's it what like 1.7k at the time of this like live stream right here my live stream why does he hate him so much is it because of like the the senate stuff is it because like he went after your like best friend in the whole wide world leo convoy <laughs> if you think you're gonna uh d die uh die alone remember that this guy has a girlfriend we think yeah <laughs> Keyword, we think. <laughs> remember, chat, if you don't get bitches, just remember, Jar does. What's your excuse? Grooming to me is a lot more serious. I'm just tired of people saying, like, almost everyone is saying that they were groomed as a kid now. And some people have even tried to convince me that I was groomed for, like, <laughs> yo, yo, just a robot got groomed? dumb reasons like oh an older friend of mine showed me some uh uh some uh animes and shit but i i'm like, yeah. i don't think i was groomed like well like do you just show you anime or like do you like do you show you hentai like there there's a there's a difference there you know <laughs> what the fuck uh there can only be one king of the artist you know <laughs> Yo, it's like the One Piece. <laughs> it's like the One Piece. Everyone's trying to get the uh, the treasures so that way they, they become king of the autist, king of the tism. The problem is I'm autistic, so I'm young minded, more young minded than people normally my age. I was also. <laughs> oh, my God. This is hilarious, man. This is hilarious right here. So isolated, sure. like I was extremely isolated growing up. And when I was 14, I watched Berserk 1997 as a kid. And that's Game of Thrones, but anime. It is right. it is a show full of bloodshed and rape. And I'm just, 
I'm just dumbfounded when people, I don't. Yeah, and that didn't fucking, that clearly didn't like skew your perception of shit. Listen, okay. I fully admit I was like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say like full on edgy, but like I was like, as like a kid, you know, like I would watch like horror movie stuff without my parents knowing Kid, kids are going to fucking like, uh, get into shit. They're not supposed to, you know, but it's like, obviously we have to acknowledge that like, even though kids cut due to curiosity, try to find that type of stuff we have to acknowledge that like it's not really necessarily normal uh for them to be watching like r-rated stuff you know like just like just because a kid was watching like an r-rated movie doesn't mean you can just suddenly show them like a titty picture you know what i mean like obviously there are fucking boundaries that you shouldn't be crossing oh no maybe i'm just being stupid but like when people say but think of the children i'm like do you guys forget what you grew up with when you were 14 like I but like but like jar like there is a there's a clear difference between like a kid like actively searching uh because like look this is this is the reality of life is that like if you're if you're a kid uh, like more so like a teenager right you're a teenager hormones kick in you're going to look for, like, porn and stuff. That's just the reality of the situation. Obviously, some parents foresee this ahead of time. So, like, they put, like, blockers on, like, their, like, online devices. But, for ki like, but like kids are going to try and find that stuff. It's different from when, like, a kid happens to find porn on their own. And an adult actively, like, giving that child porn. Like, we understand that, like, even though a kid's going to actively search that out, an adult, like, especially, like, a stranger online, should not be giving a child porn. That is not a hot take to have. A, a, a stranger online should not be giving a 14-year-old child porn to look at, especially when it's a, a, a rape comic, and they ask the child to read the rape comic and then they ask they ask the child their opinion on the rape comic like that's an obvious boundary you do not fucking cross jar i don't know if you realize that or not i don't know if anyone's like actually sat you down and told you the the fucking difference there but like the, like the difference is fucking massive i don't know i don't know but maybe i'm being stupid i i personally Personally, I would never send a 14 year old to Cirque 1997. I wouldn't do that. But sure. at the same time, I don't think I was scarred as a kid for seeing that anime. But like, still, you should like, like, you shouldn't be sending a child porn. I don't know why that's such a hard point for you to like agree on with. Or who knows? Maybe it fucked me up. Maybe that's how I ended up the way I, the way I did. <sighs> maybe I'm just no, being I stupid. I, 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 maybe I am. I don't know. What, like, what, what's your take on this? Um, what's your take on this, buddy? I don't know. Please, I mean, I... please, please agree with me. Please validate my opinion. That's basically what he's asking for there. <laughs> I watched what Borat at ten. Oh my god, that explains so much with you. I never looked for porn because to me, all I needed is the Bible. <laughs> Oh my god. God damn it, Teddy. <laughs> god damn it. God, god damn it, Teddy. <laughs> I think that kind of in regards to what you're saying, like I understand your perspective on it. Um, I think that with Cine in particular, the what kind of put it over the line with me, and I was actually about to follow up and ask about this because I remember you saying in the Chud interview that you didn't end up um actually looking at all the logs um i, I so, yes so well so i'll get I your take that. in just a second but like i first i do okay. want to hear what all you did and didn't look at like in terms of the logs well i'm need to admit to something i'm highly dyslexic like i have one of the <laughs> really really 
Chad, did you? Chad, Chad, is is that a shocker to you? Does that shock you, chat, that just a robot is dyslexic? <laughs> does, does, is anyone surprised by that? I know I am. I, I totally am surprised by that. The worst yeah, cases of dyslexia. Enough. And that's why I was waiting for my roommate to come home. Dude, he has uber dyslexia. He's got, like, the final form of it. So he could, like, help me read through the logs because he's a lot better at reading than I am. I want. Dude, dude, it sounds like it's honestly, it sounds like the roommate's responsible for like just a robot success. Dude, I hope you're sharing the, the, the channel's profits with him because like, God damn, man. God damn. I asked my girlfriend and she was like, I don't want to look at those. And. Even then, even on the Chud stream, he didn't go over what was said in the logs uh, with me. And he, well, if you looked at his stream prior, he did. Wait, what? Chud did go over the logs. Yeah, he didn't go over the logs with you, but he went over the logs. And you didn't, you you didn't ask him to go over the logs with you. If you had a asked him to like show you it to show you the logs, I'm sure he would have done it. But like, like I'm sorry, you're fucking excuse of like, well, no one's shown me the logs. You're the YouTuber. It is up to you, to the best of your ability, to do research. Using dyslexia as the reason why you can't do research is fucking bullshit. Tommy C., when he was more more along the lines of like, um, when he was more like news oriented. He ha like he has dyslexia and he had no problem fucking doing his shit. Granted, you know he has people help him grab stuff, right? But still, like, what's your what's your fucking excuse? Like, this is such a weak ass excuse, man. I'm a lover, not a reader. Char, yeah. That poor roommate. He he's the, he's the caretaker, <laughs> the translator. The grab the grab ass player, it's a lot. Yo, yo. We we need the roommate to tell uh, we need a roommate to make a video to tell his side of the story of this because like god damn man, god damn. Jar abuses that guy. And uh I'm just confused because like I read some of the highlighted parts. Like I, I looked through the first one and I saw people like, oh, Cinny's uh, character was doing a po um, suggestive pose, um, and it was fan art, and she posted it in her Discord. And I was like, I, I don't, I, I don't think that's if, if okay. If if you know that there are minors in your Discord server, like I get, I get it. You know, um, you like sharing art of what people have made for you, right? Like, um, I have never gotten fan art before. But like obviously if someone made fan art for me, I would I would love to share that, right? But like if it's like not safe for work art, obviously don't fucking post that in your Discord server full of minors. Jar, I don't know why you can't get that through your head, man. Like <laughs> that's not a strange fucking concept, man. Don't share porn. Like not well not porn i guess you don't share softcore porn in a discord server full of minors because it's bad it's porn I, i'm sorry and then yeah. i yeah. saw I mean, the second clarify, dog I don't give a shit about that stuff like i'm, I'm yeah really and then i saw it yeah and then i saw the second doc and i saw words highlighted like her saying i like big butts and i cannot lie and i was like that, I heard that in the Shark Tale movie as a kid. My parents showed me that movie. Were my parents grooming me? And the, you see, this is the problem. Is like he's cheer, like obviously, like the 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 Google Docs are intended to show all, pretty much all the conversations uh, Sydney had with the minor. And of course, some of the some of these conversations are going to be very, uh, very. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it's very pedantic. Would that guess that that would be the word? Where it's just like there's not a whole lot of important stuff necessarily. There might not even be like necessary like full on all the time. It's like you know like porn goonie. But like 
obviously he cherry picked those examples so that way uh it would look better for sydney um or just don't have miners in your discord server at all for fuck's sakes that too that too <laughs> Uh, nothing good ever comes from that. It's always a risk. True, yeah, because then you risk um, like uh, like grooming happening in your Discord server, right? Of course, if you if there if someone's being accused of grooming in your Discord server, you make sure you get Kumo on the case. He'll he'll get that solved real quick. So, right. okay, but to clarify, did you did you read that whole doc? Like, did you read, or I know that you didn't read the whole doc, but did you get to the end of that doc? What happened? No. One? No. Okay. What happened at okay. the end? Well, so the ending is, is pages on pages of a rape comic that uh, Cinny made. Um, oh, no, 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 no. I, I did get to that part. Like, I did, yes. And, okay. well, I think it was very... <sighs> very bad for her to send that when i found out that the worst part oh really really you, really jar you think oh it's it's really bad to send a child rape art it's just really bad it's that comic she censored out herself i thought wow that actually makes her look a lot better i was stupefied when he brought that out as an actual point in his video. My my brain is broken. That he's now doubling down on that. So you see, like he's not fucking taking anything back from the from the jar call. He's not fucking taking anything back. He's like just like he's he's reiterating every point from his video, saying that he still agrees with it. There's no doubling down here. Like, I'm sorry. There's there's no taking accountability here. There is like, dude, dude. I don't know why this is a fucking hot take with you, man. Censored or not, don't be showing children rape comics. What the fuck, dude? Oh, okay. I made a mistake. I opened up YouTube and I saw. Oh, my subs are going down fast. Also, the fucking ooh. The ooh. Ooh, my subs are going down. Ooh. Ooh, I opened up YouTube. Like, how, like, he's legit more concerned about the fact that he, he's losing subs than a child being sent rape porn. I uh let's see I don't join servers due to paranoia of shit happening. Uh these Discord horror stories have fucked me up all. Well. It's really bad, but she 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 censored it and an Oxford dictionary describes grooming as <laughs> Yeah. Uh but like like got caught grooming yeah but like no, seriously like like bro like he's he's more concerned with the fact that he's like losing subs now than like the fact that he fucking defended that bullshit ah uh, don't worry about that right now dude you'll get through it okay no yeah i will i actually lost more <laughs> you'll get through it no no the fuck he will not what the fuck the toby drama i actually lost like two or three k i'm a, i've only lost like i i don't even think i've lost 500 yet but uh wait then how why are you taking notice of that holy shit like i notice when like like my sub count rises or like declines but that's just because i'm a small youtuber like why do you he's so hyper fixated on like his fame and making sure that like he he still is able to be in the limelight to some degree like what the, what the fuck is this shit man john be my witness what right john you can be my witness how often do you see me on discord buddy uh well on like my discord like only once 
I've only seen you like one time on my Discord. Then like maybe two times on like uh mic server. If you want a legitimate answer, yeah, that's I like I've I've, I've only like a handful of times have I seen you interact on Discord. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Um when I realized I don't think it was okay for her to send that, especially when she I oh, I'm so glad that you agree with that, dude. I'm so glad you're finally brave enough to have to take that uh, an adult shouldn't fucking send rape porn to a child. I'm so glad that you fucking have that take. Holy shit, man. I also just don't do shit uh, in them either. So I see no point in joining them. I just use Discord uh, to connect with peeps uh, that we no longer use social media since it's the only, way to, it's the only place to talk to them. Oh yeah, I mean I get that. I get that. Um I well like obviously I use Discord uh for the show uh to contact other creators when I need to. Um like and like luckily like it this is going to sound like a cope, but like I don't really see it as one. Like my server is not active, which I'm actually happy about because like I don't have to deal with fucking drama. The one time I had to deal with my my own server's Discord drama, a furry tried to fucking sue me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um I like I just have it for like call-ins and you know for the few people who want to call into the server, you know, it's it's great stuff. Great stuff. And I, I'm I'm glad I don't have to deal with like cuz like when Turkey Tom tried to have his Discord server, man, there were so many fucking issues with that because like his mods were like abusing power, trying to groom minors. It's like why the fuck would you do that in like a Turkey Tom Discord server of all places, you know? But yeah, like that bullshit. Like it's so I understand why a lot of creators, like when they're big, I understand why they keep like their server like members only. So that way, like, it lessens uh the idea of that shit happening. See, I'm a good man, not a gooner. Well, I didn't say you weren't a gooner. I'm just saying, like, I I don't see you active on Discord. Probably because you're gooning too much. Maybe that's why. She said she wouldn't do it again. and uh, Like, she said she would never do it, this again. But when I found out she censored out the worst parts, I could tell that she at least learned a little from when she first... Bro. Bro. Bro, still... She shouldn't be sending that to minors. What? Dude, but like, if she... If she... Oh, I can't... If she had originally promised to not send that to minors again, and then she sends it to a minor again, did she learn anything? My answer to that would be no she has not learned anything first did this the problem was when she first did this she sent it to a 17 year old when she was 19 someone two years younger right. than her yeah. this time it was someone like seven is six or seven years younger six. than her yeah. and six yeah and again watched berserk i watched berserk 1997 when i was okay i get it you watched an anime where there was rape but dude, that doesn't again, dude. That doesn't fucking excuse the fact that an adult is sending ch a child fucking rape comics. Like what the fuck? He he said uh, he said goomer John, not uh, oh he said groomer, not gooner. Oh my. <laughs> Loki, do not use my presence name for your sick twist. Did puns? Oh my god! Wait, what's Wilkie's pun right here? Teddy, Teddy Groomer belt. Damn, can't have the allegations, Teddy. Oh no, yeah, we're 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 dropping the Teddy allegations, man. We're dropping them right now. Fourteen, but I found that on my own. Cindy sent someone this comic, and I, I was just thinking to myself, this is an optics nightmare. But at the same time, I still. <laughs> Yo, he's thinking, yo, yo, this needs an optics check. He sees he sees a child uh being groomed, and he's like, yo, 
optics check. What? Honestly, what the what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Like Jesus, man. Well, don't think this is grooming, especially when I found out she censored the worst part. Now, I really did not like it when Chud said, "Oh, so." Oh, it's fine if you send. Oh, so it's oh fine to send porn if you censor it. I, I'm not saying that. I, I said, but you're saying, oh, it's 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 better. It's better that she sent it censored. Like, bro, bro, you fucking. At least okay. At least he's fucking like trying to like actually like call uh, like call out Chud. Although like obviously he's doing a terrible job at it, right? I was very careful with my words. I said it made her look less guilty when I found out she censored it herself. No, it, it, like it, it really, it really doesn't, man. If you still like, you're still sending like rape stuff to a to a kid. Like how how hard is that to comprehend? You know. What the fuck? What? It's not good either way, but there's a huge, it's like, there's a, there's a huge, wait, hang on, sorry, sorry, it's, uh, you're, uh, there's a difference between a teen finding shit on their own, and they're not supposed to, no, yeah, exactly, that's exactly my take, uh, on the, their own and someone directly supplying them with such subject matter, no, exactly, that's, that's been my po point this entire drama is the fact that for some for some reason like he's he's perfectly fine with her sending like censored stuff to this kid and it's it's like you're saying now that like no I never said that I was okay with it I'm just saying it makes her look less bad and I was like dude dude like she still send sent that material to a kid like I don't I like Jar, I think the, the the problem is Jar has already like the preconceived notion in his head that this woman was worth defending. And so he has to um he has to like still like even though he's not technically defending her anymore, he has to like still like defend the points he was making, you know. Um I I molest the child in the dark, Your Honor. Uh, it didn't get Jesus Christ, Teddy, fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Jesus, if you're gonna be saying that shit, at least donate to you. Damn, man. Self, in fact, originally I actually said it made her look more innocent, but my editor told me, no, don't say that. That that is, dude. Wait, but no, that's you're you're basically saying the same thing there. Dude, you're dude. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, bro? Dude, you're 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 so fucking stupid, Jar. It's a stupid thing to say. You need to say less guilty. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right, man. Thanks for catching that. Right. And uh, but at the same time, that's not a good thing. Even if you if even if you censored a porn. It's better that you censor it than not. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Jar. She shouldn't she shouldn't be sending that at all. You're getting into this little technical thing of like, um, technically, technically she censored it, so it's better. Like I I get I guess by technicality you're right. But she shouldn't be sending that. Jar, she shouldn't be sending that shit in the fucking first place. You goddamn moron. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? This, 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 you see, this is what I fucking mean. He wants to get in these fucking, like, technical fucking argument bullshits. Like, what the, what the fuck, man? What the, what the, what the fuck? Bro. See, this is this is why it's like so like I'm so glad I'm not the I'm not the person like in the call with these guys because it's like hearing their logic is so frustrating when you point it out to them it's like they hi it's it, it's um 
it's exactly like what what Nick would describe uh, conversations with Bo Blacks because Bo Blacks could never concede that he was wrong on something. The best you can do is like scream and shout at him, and then he would be like, "Agree to disagree," you know. But it's still not a good thing to send at all, especially to someone that young when you're that old. But right. at the same time, I think about what Cine drew when she was 14 and how people encouraged her to make animations like this when she... And it's bad. It's, and it's bad that she was encouraged at the age of 14 to make pornographic stuff. That's terrible. And the fact that she like the fact that she thought it was okay to have that kind of stuff um, speaks volumes to her mental state. And clearly, she needs some type of psychiatric help. But that being said, dude, she is not worth dying on this fucking bridge. She was fourteen, and I, and sometimes I think. I can understand her perspective as to why she thought this is okay. Like, if you yeah. were encouraged to do this when you're 14, you're probably going to do the same thing. And I, I wish people understood that, but... No, I understand that. But it doesn't excuse any of her actions. That's the thing. It doesn't fucking excuse anything. Her censoring it shows that she knew... What she was doing was bad and shouldn't have sent it, but still did. No, yeah, yeah. She, so like she, she has enough. So she has enough awareness to know that she shouldn't be doing that, but still does it. Doctor Woodchipper is here to say to see you. Yeah, no, yeah, he fucking exactly, exactly, man. Like, come, come, like, come on, Jar. I get it. We kind of have to be a little empathetic to um to these people but like she, what she still did is wrong it does sound like i'm excusing what she did and it's pretty much because i am i should have gone way bro bro harder at cine i should have said like a lot more stuff about her it's just when i saw that the pyro stuff everything else I, I thought this was like the pyro situation all over again, and I had something here, but I'm not very good with my words. Yeah. And no, I mean, fair enough. I was yeah. way, I was way, way, way too soft on her, and I, I think that was the big killer for the video. I, I sh when these situations happen, you have to go hard on the person, and I, I wasn't hard on them. And well, you were just in a very different way. I, I I messed up a lot. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Um, I mean, just here, what I'd love to do is just bring up a couple of, so I, I actually read through, and like, this isn't a flex or anything, by the way, like, I just want to make that clear. But like, I, I read through all of the DMs, okay? Because Cine so released all of them without, like, completely unadulterated uh, with her response. Um, and... So I do just want to bring up a couple of pieces of context to see if this not not changes your mind to think it's grooming, but changes your mind at all on kind of your opinions of it. Um, so like, first of all, with the rape comic, um, in different calls, Cine got, you know, to uh, read that out loud, read, read some of the panels out loud. Um, yeah. Did, does that change anything for you? Yes. Okay. Oh, right. Listen here. Listen here. Okay. It's one thing. It's one thing if you sent rape comics, rape porn to a child. Okay. It's another thing when you have the child read it. This is like, the, the, like, the, I love like how, like, because like, this is like Kumo's same opinion, right? That like, she went too far by having the minor read the rape comic. It's like, guys, guys, she went too far, like, five too fars ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unfortunately, loss of fandom spaces are like that. But damn, yeah. 
But like, still, like, it doesn't like that behavior needs to be called out. And like, I I get it. Everyone's fucking tired of like the goddamn um uh the 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 fucking like um pedo shit. Like every single fucking time. Like I get it. It's it's annoying. But like, dude. This shit needs to be called out. I don't know what what else to fucking say, you know? Like, <laughs> you shouldn't be, uh, hang on, let me, let me fix this real quick. She should, you shouldn't be, like, sending that shit, uh, to minors. Like, bro, stop. Stop it and get some help. Stop, stop it and get some help, man. Well, it depends. Well, like, I'm, I'm assuming Wait, that Wait, it she depends? Read- He's saying, well, it depends. Dude, she's having a minor. Like, dude, why are you so, like, fixated on, like, still, like, having some excuses for her? She sent a minor, a rape comic. Had the minor read her the rape comic and then asked the the minor for their opinion on the rape comic. Like, dude, like, <laughs> Jar, come on, man. How the fuck did you last on YouTube so fucking long while having this sort of, like, shit mindset? It out loud where minors were present. Well, Eno, in, or Eno was the one reading it out loud. Cinny got oh my Eno God. to read it out loud. Oh, in call together. Oh my god. I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. That I did. Uh, oh. Guess what, man? Do your fucking research. Do your fucking research on the goddamn idiots that you fucking defend. You moronic piece of shit. Oh god. And in, in total, that I mean, is... they had around 20 hours of phone calls, and almost all of them were dedicated to like talking about that sexual material. Yeah, that completely changes everything. That com- I, you, you, I'm sure you have more, but like, I think that's enough. Like, case closed. That's no, yeah. you don't. Do- Who? How much of a coomer do you have to be to like risk your rep- reputation over something like this? And I'm sorry, I, I got, I got fucking show chat me fucking like fucking having a brain aneurysm here. Why is it that these weird fucking ass, like, art commentary people draw the line at this bullshit? Like, uh, I mean, it's a little weird that you sent a child, like, rape stuff, but, you you know, it's just like, you know, I personally want to do that. Oh, what's that? You had the child then read it? Oh, that's the bad thing. That's the bad thing. <laughs> I'm just like, like, like. Like I, I can't I can't be the only one who who's uh who's who's fucking like like the the, the whole like uh the, the deji clip of like this is so bizarre. <laughs> like that's what I'm thinking and every time I fucking like hear any of the bullshit out of their mouths because it's like it's just fucking excuses for everything, man. Now I'm starting to think like I did not hear those calls. Did someone play those calls? So that was the thing. Nobody, like nobody, has access to the calls themselves. But what we do know is there, uh, during several parts of the calls, Cinny, because Jack was sleeping, Cinny would be uh, texting and like saying what to do and like kind of like talking about the different things. Okay, you know what? I, I actually, that's. That actually does completely change my perspective. I actually do think that's grooming. Do you... And and I'm just going to bring out the other pieces of context just to, like, see what you say. But, like, the other thing that she got her to do is um, draw, like... not It was never outright porn, but it was NSFW with those situations um, from the rape comic that they would uh, role play about. Did- those were from Cine the comic. Got Anno. Cine got Anno too. Oh. Yes. 
oh my god, I did not know those were from the Yeah, dude, it's fucking bad. It's fucking bad, you you goddamn fucking idiot. Like, bro. Bro. You uh I hate I hate I hate on hate on. Let me let me pop chat out for a second so that way I can read it a bit better. Uh let's see. Uh, actually, I made it worse. One second. Uh, unfortunately, lots of fan spaces are like that. No, I, oh yeah, I already read that. Uh, these adults come from cartoon, toys, and animation communities. Constantly go out to cons and have, and from childhood trauma issues, most of them can't help their, uh, their. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but like. It's did did warn you. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking right, dude. Holy shit. It's funny hearing John uh get mad in the most calming voice possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh that's you know, that's my brand, you know, calm, but you know, I get fucking uh irritated when it comes to like this shit. <laughs> Sorry, it's just well, one part, one part, it's just like um like unless it's like something that really irritates me, uh, or like really gets me angry, I try not to like yell, yell, and obviously too I have neighbors. The last thing I want is a fucking noise complaint. Oh yeah, this, uh, ignore that bullshit. That's like f- from weird fucking thing that happens with like the software I'm using, uh, to uh, use my phone as a webcam. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. But like, but seriously, like this bullshit, like it's so irritating that um, that like this is like this is this is the where Jar draws the line of like, oh, this is definitely grooming. Then like, bro, the comics. I just thought, I just saw the pictures and I thought Cindy just encouraged her to draw. Like, oh, hey, I wanted to draw this, and Cindy was like, yeah, yeah, go for it. And that's as bad as I thought it got, but now... That, I mean, that's bad for an adult to encourage a child to draw NSFW stuff. That's still bad, dude. I don't know what the fuck's going on with your mind. You, you don't think it's bad that, like, an adult was, in, was encouraging a child to fucking draw that shit in the first place? Like... <laughs> Like, come on, man. Come on. Fucking come on. You you dumb ass. You you dumb ass motherfucker. Now, um, that I realize that, yeah, that is, that is wildly, wildly inappropriate. Yeah. I'm glad well, you and know. And I'm, I'm not sure that I would go as far as to say, like, it's grooming. Like, I'm a bit of a fence sitter with it. But, uh, okay. Okay, I'm not, we're not, okay, we're not here to, to criticize this guy. We're not here to criticize this guy, but, uh, I would say it's grooming. Well, I, mean, I think, I think getting a child to read you a rape comic is, like, it's not child grooming, but it is grooming some, a child into activities that are not what they should do. Well, like, and that's like, that's actually yeah. funnily enough what I was going to bring up next. So the two last pieces of context are so at the beginning of their messages, um, No did not have like wasn't really talking at all about like the face sitting stuff or like the like God this is so fucking annoying to talk about, but like the fucking um, like weird fart fetish stuff that Cindy has. Cindy, oh, cool. a fucking course. Why? Why can't? Okay, okay. Look, look. Why? Why can't these fucking people have like some like level of like restraint when it comes to like their fetishes? Why does it always have to be the fucking extreme stuff like fucking rape and fucking art fetish? I hope he's just saying it to keep Jar in the call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, uh, what of the child is really good at drawing grape? Oh. Who knows? You have to ask Cindy about that, cause uh, apparently uh, Cindy couldn't get enough of 
all of it. Um, whereas it's by always, the it's end, always... yeah, dude, I know, I know. By the end of it, um, she was like completely participating in those fetishes and like really leaning into them and like continuing them. Um, which like I think it would be easy to kind of make a indoctrination argument there. Um, and then further too, um, at the very beginning of their messages, um, and it talks about how, um, she got flack when she was an 11 year old dude, for, dude, is it okay if I play, is it okay if I play some smash bros while we talk dude, to the audio? Fuck. What the f <laughs> Yo, yo bro, yo bro. I know we're talking about grooming allegations. But do you mind if I play Smash Bros? Yo, can yo can we get my buddies uh, Zero in the call? You know, <laughs> fucking Zero. I I heard he loves the fucking ice climbers, man. <laughs> what the what the fuck, man? Yo yo, you mind if I play uh, Smash Bros? I I uh, I'm personally like a DK main, you know. Um, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, You're fine. yeah. It's just I need to distract myself because yeah, do this. You need. I, I, I it's, no, it sounds like you're distracting yourself too much, man. It sounds like you need to um, fully take in what the fuck's being said to you. Because then you're going to be like, when you get questioned about this, you're going to be like, uh, uh, I, uh, honestly, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, uh, I don't remember what was uh, said in the call. I know we talked about my bad behavior. <laughs> That's what he's going to sound like during the, during the next time he's like questioned about any of this mentioned. It's not what you're okay. It's partially what you're describing to me, but now that you're just it, it. Okay. That's half of it. But the other half is that I said, Oh, this isn't grooming. It's just her and boy and bunny outfits. Woo. So scandalous. And now I realize the context behind that and how bad that makes me look. Dude, he do, he's not horrified by the fact that a fucking child was being groomed. He's horrified by the fact that, like, his reputation's ruined now. Like, bro. Broski. Dumbass. <laughs> what the, what the fuck, man? What? Honestly. Honestly, what the fuck, man? You 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 just fucking like oh well it's like I know the I know there are drawings of like the child and uh, the adult in inappropriate scandalous like skimpy outfits, but like I didn't know the context behind that and it's like bro, bro, yeah. Well, I mean that's the thing. Like when you make this video, you can clarify all of that. You know, like. You have the opportunity yeah, to clear the, call report. the problem is you were so fucking smug in your fucking video and you didn't even do the, a quarter of the research that was necessary to make it. You just looked for the biases that would confirm your story, your narrative. And then you, you went hook, line and sinker with your, your video. On, honestly, man, like you deserve to, um, to get as much flack as possible for this. So that way, like, you you don't do stories like this again because you you are not the person people should go to, uh, for stories like this. Jars just lucky, he, uh, his girlfriend hasn't learned about uh, g grooming in school yet. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that's so fucked up. That's fuck. That's fucked up, Wookie. Goddamn. Or did? Huh. Do you have this call recorded? I record all calls, but I'm not doing anything with this. Unless, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jar. He's uh, he's not doing anything with this. <laughs> oh, fucking, fucking rich. Fucking rich, man. Send it to me, because... Yeah, like, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah completely. Absolutely. Ab absolutely. Early changes like almost everything like i which like here's the thing i understand why chud logic was so aggressive with me he saw those dms and he thought about what i did and he got mad 
And I also, and probably with the context you have, thinking that I'm being okay with this, um, like I understand why he was angry. Now uh, I prefer talking. I wish the guy interviewing me was you because you're like, <laughs> Be because he's fucking hand feeding you shit, man. Bro, bro, you can't fucking like you. Like, now you're going to fucking, I bet you retroactively, he's going to say that, like, he didn't know how much of a mean person Chud was. But, dude, you can't fucking, that's, like, dude, it's like when, um, it's like, it's like when people go to Tommy C, right? And they expect Tommy not to be mean to them. It's like, that's what Tommy does, right? To Tommy is mean to you. Because that's the show. That's the entertainment. Chud it works in a similar way, you know? Like, I, it's it's not like the full-on, like, radio stuff. But, like, if he has you on something, he's not going to be nice to you, man. The fact that you want, like, you want to be, like, a, cr like treated like a goddamn baby. And, like, you want everyone to be so fucking nice to you. It's, it's just... Bro, bro. Uh, what point is this call? Do you think uh, 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 he Hebelton started regretting his life choices? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is content, man. This is content. Gotta gotta respect the grind. You know, I'm not I'm not too familiar with the dude. Um, I did see he had a couple of live streams with Kumo in them. I haven't watched them in full. Um, but <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this this is content, you know. We let's be happy that this exists to react to. You're a lot more reasonable. You're a lot. More yeah, reasonable. I try to. Be. I feel like it makes for a better uh, interview. <laughs> well, I, I understand. <laughs> Joe, you were too mean. You were too mean when you were talking to... Uh, I'm sorry, not Jar. Chud, you were too mean to Jar. You were just too mean to him. Why he's like that. It, it, like, I don't know that much about Chud, but isn't he one of those, like, Vosh, destiny type guys? Well, that and he's just, like, super content-pilled, you know? So, like, he's just... He's there for the content more than anything. So am I, brother. So am I. Mm-hmm. Which can mm -hmm. be funny when you're an audience member, but, you know, it can be not the best if you're on the receiving end of that. <laughs> yeah, I... It, it, it's just, like, I tried to watch videos about this, and people were just like, oh, this is, uh... Oh, this is so... Dude, do you think, yo, yo, I hope he's watching my stuff. Dude, I, ho I hope somewhere he found my stuff. That would be hilarious. Can't wait for the Lyo call where he lar LARPs about improving while saying that Jar used him and then pretending that he should take full credit for owning Jar. What? Just like he did with the, uh, the Zed call. Uh, Jar isn't even nice to people he thinks are wrong. Ch Chud, Chud was fair. Yeah, Chud, I mean, Chud was as fair as he could be, right? See, this is, this is the thing, like, um, like I mentioned, like, like I mentioned it earlier, I'll mention it again. Like, you guys saw how smug Jar sounded in his video because... To Jar, he thought that, like, he had the perfect airtight defense for Sydney. He honestly thought he did. And then as soon as, as, as soon as he got someone who was able to deconstruct his arguments, like, he folded like paper. And now he's like, oh, uh, they were, they were too mean to me. They were too mean. They were too, too mean to me. John, John, John. What? What is it, Teddy? What is it? What do you want, Teddy? Why are you spamming John in chat?
bad and they weren't really like going into that much detail about the doc and I, I just thought people were jumping on a bandwagon like they did no like see this like you clearly other than like learning that he was reacting to your video you clearly did not watch any of chud's coverage Ch well how many hours did chud stream he streamed for what like what 10 hours total and like i want i want to say that like two like two hours of it was dedicated to like the jar call like dude eight look for like the eight other hours of that stream or he's covering everything involving you man just fucking just fucking look at that See, this is this is your own fucking confirmation fucking bias again. You're clearly not fucking doing the goddamn research. You're not doing the fucking research. You just want to be a fucking victim. Because you're a goddamn moron who thinks he deserves the fucking world, who wants to have like this fucking knight in shining eye uh, uh, knight in shining armor complex. And you just, you want everyone to fucking praise you and fucking bow to you and, and kiss the, the ground you fucking walk on because you, you think you're fucking like art commentary Jesus or something, some bullshit like that. Like It's so irritating how much he fucking plays the victim here. It in the pyro drama and I realize now that I completely misread the situation like this is. This is actually worse than what Pyro did with Ivory. I I don't know if I fully agree with that only because like the Ivory Pyro stuff was like extremely, extremely explicit. Whereas like this was in some cases explicit, but it like there like you said, there was some censoring and stuff like that. Um but I mean I do still agree that like it's it's egregious. It's it's not good. Um um, the, the last piece of context, so we can like move on from this point, but, um, so Eno talked to Sydney about how she drew rape, uh, art when she was an 11 year old and, um, got slack for it. Okay, and... remember when 11 year olds used to go outside and pick flowers? Dude, I know. Dude, you, you don't have fucking room to talk. You talk about how, oh, I watched Berserk and I saw all the rape. I saw all the gore. You can't fucking like play that fucking card now you, you 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 don't deserve to fucking play that card now bro little little bro you don't fucking you get you don't have fucking room to talk you spend all your fucking day playing smash bros hanging out in discord servers falling asleep to women's voices the fuck you talking about remember when kids used to go outside <laughs> let's go back to that please <laughs> um but so um Cindy's response to that was that is totally normal, and nobody should have given you flat for it. So, <laughs> like that, it is. It is t so Sydney' response to that was, "It's totally normal for an eleven-year-old to make rape comics." Fantastic! I, 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 like, I, why? I am so shocked that you sh that she for some reason uh, lost her career. Also, we have a we have a wild British runner. Uh, in the call, how are you doing, good sir? I'm doing all right. How's it going? Oh, I'm losing my goddamn mind uh, listening to this uh, to this other a uh, jar call. <laughs> losing my goddamn mind. Yeah, right uh, that's how I'm feeling about making this next video. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been, uh, been dude. quite a journey <laughs> wrapping my head around the first part. Mm. <laughs> that once again is okay. To me. Okay, I'm sharing. I'm sharing uh, my screen with you so that way you can yep. uh, yeah, be on the yeah. journey with yeah, us. I'm seeing it. Yes, yeah, so I'll is, join you on the sign of kind yikes. of indoctrination is, stuff. Six minutes. You know. That is like yikes. That is okay. Okay. Get, get. Okay. Could you repeat that? Yeah. So basically, um, Eno got a lot of flack because when Eno was 11. Um, they drew rape art and Sydney's response to that was that it's completely normal and that she should not have gotten flack for drawing that. The fuck?
the 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 fuck indeed. <laughs> this is this is, this is the woman. What's going on here? This is the woman that I'm, un, uh, I'm under the I'm under the uh, like I've seen a bit of Chad's stream, so I'm under the presumption that Himpleton is going for a like oh I'm gonna let him hang himself or something like that. No, Himpleton is more like <sighs> it's a sympathetic branch sort of thing. We're like yeah, he actually, but actually, like, actually he, he, he told he, he told he, Chad he told Chad that he's trying to like get him he's giving him the rope to hang himself sort of thing. Oh, is that the like, is that the uh, excuse? Yeah, that's what that's what Himpleton now? that's what Himpleton said. I don't know what he's actually mm. been doing in this stream. No. <laughs> well, this, uh, it, yeah, in this call, he's a lot more he's he's a lot more nicer than what Chad was, which is why like Jar really likes him. Hmm. He actually said that Hamilton yeah. was better than Chud uh, in this call. Because okay. <laughs> he because he, he admits that he, he didn't know who Chud was prior to like him asking to review the video, which like I don't know about 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 you, British, but like, are you going to like, I mean, in retrospect, I'm I'm so glad he sent the video to Chud. Right. But also too. like. <laughs> I don't know if I just heard of like a random guy, like whether it be like just a streamer or just like a plain out content creator, I'm not going to ask yeah. them to review something of mine that I, do, I hardly know them. I'm going to ask someone who yeah, like, this is, this I've worked thing, with every, every video that Chad's ever reacted to mine. He's mm -hmm. never like, I've never asked him to review it. He's always just done it by himself. So like, that's just how I've always been with, um, uh, what do you call it when someone wants to react to something? They'll just go ahead and do it, right? But like this like, guy, I'm, I'm not really. He, he wanted it. I don't really. Yeah, he wanted the uh, the review. <laughs> yeah, waiting for his joystick quote to become a meme in, in the community. Now, don't remember what video it was from, so I can't source it now. Oh, he made a joystick dick joke oh that's basic that's basic uh, shit, the, the, the whole thing though like with um asking chud to review your video mm -hmm. is that like maybe you should have done a little bit more research on who chud was what he what he does in his streams Dude. how he um like how how he um is on his streams like when he's reviewing stuff Dude. like if you can't handle the heat jar, jar <laughs> is like straight up saying in this call that like Chud didn't know about any of the logs when like the, uh, the 10 hour stream that the, that the original jar int interviews from there's like yeah. hours of him going over the logs to begin with. Like, bro. Wait, so jar actually did go over the logs. No, 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 no. He's saying that like, he's, he's criticizing Chud for oh, not okay. showing him the logs when like jar mm. never asks to see the logs because like he's using the excuse he's using the excuse of he's dyslexic he's trying he's like he's trying to um oh what is it like turn it around or something yeah he well not uh, not necessarily turn it around basic basically like you know how like he folded like a like a piece of paper during the the call of chud He's now like <laughs> retroactively like trying to like take back the points folded. that he Chud folded. made against him. Yeah, he folded like a lawn chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like the like in this call, he's like retroactively like taking the points that like Chud and other creators have made against him, and now he's arguing. Mm. He's arguing against them, but like you know, as soon as you get in a call with him, he's gonna fucking fold, right? Because like. This yeah. is this is the thing with these types of creators. They talk a big game, and then they're just mm. they're just they're just like oh 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 when you when you get them in call, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like to have a rape fetish at eleven. I mean, I think it's common to have a rape fetish, but not. What? <laughs> what? Um. Okay. Then. Um. Ex 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 excuse <laughs> moi. Ex it, it, oh. It's well. If you need me to replay, I can replay it for you if you want. No. 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 He no thinks need. He no thinks. Need. He thinks. 
it's normal to have a rape fetish. <laughs> <laughs> is is he trying to insinuate that he has one? Oh, I. Your Jesus guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Christ, man! Jesus fucking Christ! What even is this? It's the like the Twilight Zone, <laughs> uh, dude. Dude, I feel like the Twilight Zone would be a lot more normal than this. <laughs> He is he is he telling on himself? No, that's what I'm fucking wondering, man. That's what it's it, like a self report. That this is, this is the, the fucking biggest self report. Listen, listen, I understand that. No, no, what what an, like an actual like common like kink is like you know, bit bit rougher, right? But not but not like fucking yeah, raped, yeah. like Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> You know, you know, it's we, 14 uh, pages. That's a bit weird. <laughs> oh, no, 14, 14 pa pages. Oh, no. Oh, no. Teddy tipped, uh, Teddy tipped three. Oh, no. Teddy tipped a dollar. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm worried about this. I need to get to open up uh, Streamlabs now. I'm sorry, Stream Elements. Okay. Okay. What did, what did you send, Teddy? Uh, I'm 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 very scared now. What you sent for just a dollar? <laughs> Is he even following the conversation anymore? I don't think so. I okay, Linkara. Damn, damn, man. Why do you gotta do that? This this was the joystick clip. I think Brandon was talking about. Oh. Oh, the actual clip. Okay, okay. Well, let me uh, copy the whole thing. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just going to quickly mute output real quick. So British, they're not going to hear you real quick. But I'm just going to quickly see what this is. Teddy, I swear to God. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, okay, okay. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay here we go here we go okay okay why because being a woman is the worst it's like playing one of your video games without the the, the stick of happiness do you mean the joystick <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe it oh yeah this was one of his older videos so like what he did with his older uh. videos is that he put like a robot filter on and then he would like use reverb to make him sound echoey let that get past the censors. <laughs> for those of you who don't get the joke, the joystick is a metaphor for penis. Okay. For those of you <laughs> who don't get the joke, I, I, I think the I joystick is a metaphor for penis. <laughs> Actually, hang on. I'm saving that. Was... I'm saving that, and that's going to be the next. From, uh, uh, that's going to be the, the, the stream alert. Gate days, those are from the what? Sorry. Gamergate days? No, I mean no. It was a couple years after. Was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't he, really remember. But dude, this for the, <laughs> that's gonna be the next uh, alert sound. So like every time, every every, every time <laughs> someone donates now, it's just gonna be like it's a metaphor for penis. <laughs> <laughs> At eleven, like no, don't get exactly. me wrong. I developed a gender bent fetish at like seven. What the? What the fuck? I'm, what I'm sorry, I didn't fuck? catch that. What was that? <laughs> I will replay that for you. I developed a gender bent fetish at like seven or eight, but that's because I watched gender, uh, Ronma gender one half bent fetish. So. What? <laughs> Okay, gender bend is when like you make a character that's like traditionally like male or female, and then you make them the opposite gender. Okay, he is into that because of the anime he watched. What the fuck, chat? Yeah. What the fuck? Holy fucking shit, man. 
<laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, God. <laughs> what? The, what the, the, the art commentary community is full of idiots. They are. My coffee is gone. Just, this is just like... This is just like, oh yeah, like what do you do with a locale? You just let them talk. Just let, let them talk, on. man. Just let, like, <laughs> no, 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 no prompting, by the way, from 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 uh, Himbleton to ask him anything yeah, yeah, about like is... his fetishes. He's just like open about the fact that he has a, a See, gender bent thing, fetish. Like, this is the thing he told uh, Chud is that like he was like, oh yeah, I'm giving him the rope to basically hang himself with, like. Like he's given this sympathetic sort of approach. This is a strategy he's apparently going through is that he's given the sympathetic approach so he feels comfortable enough just to ruffle on. I'm, at least that's what I'm getting from it anyway. Well, I, I think he got more than he bargained for with this. <laughs> and then some. Yeah. Like, holy shit. Yeah, like... I mean, it's a, it's an interesting strategy to use on someone to get them to so they'll be comfortable, so then you can make content from what they're what they say in the call. Yeah, cause, well, like, dude, I know like, for the past couple lure, of days people them into being it, like, good with this man. <laughs> yeah, like you lure them into like a false sense of security. Yeah, and then they just reveal that they fucking have like gender bent fetishes. Like, what the. Fuck? Or rape fetishes. <laughs> yeah. Because apparently that one's so common. Oh, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah. And it developed early on, but like, I did develop a rape fetish from watching Berserk and. Uh... No. No, we were joking <laughs> about that, man. We were fucking joking Wait, is... about that. Is Berserk like an anime is. Berz okay, okay. So, like he he's representing Berserk terribly. Berserk is an amazing um franchise, uh excellent storytelling. Um there are very dark elements of the story. Um they are not <laughs> glorified in any way. Uh it's there to show you how br brutal the world is, how villainous the villains are, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Holy shit, man. He just revealed that? <laughs> what the fuck? That's why he <laughs> thinks that's common. Uh, that's so fucking Holy weird. Shit. <laughs> that is... Oh my god. Oh, I, 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 holy shit! I guess it's kind of accurate than what what Kuma was fucking calling him. Jesus, man. <laughs> he fucking really is just a rapist. Yikes. <laughs> what the like like dude, what the what the fuck? Trying, trying to appeal wait, wait. Someone said trying to appeal to British runner. What do you mean? <laughs> oh wait, wait. Okay, they're saying that I'm faking they're, I'm faking my disgust of this so that way I can appeal to you, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. He also brings up Naruto <laughs> quite a bit in defense of Sunny during some of the uh oh you no know, yeah oh, he, like no. he brought he brings up Naruto no. a fucking lot. No. Yeah. I haven't I haven't seen that. No, 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 he doesn't. You're lying to me. <laughs> Teddy said he developed a British fetish after watching Mo 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 Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Monty Python's great. Yeah. 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 I, I like I like Black Adder as well. Hmm. It could have been worse. You could have said Doctor Who. Uh, I prefer Black Adder. At eleven, mm. like that's I I'm not well versed in this. I'm not a scientist, but I'm gonna go out. <laughs> I'm not Sh a scientist, shocker, everyone. Guys, <laughs> just a robot, it's not a scientist. No, he he is the subject of a scientist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he is the experiment. I haven't done I haven't done research into this, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it's not normal for fourteen. I mean, you know, so for an eleven year old to be into that stuff. Well, yeah. Not only is it not normal, it's um 
a very standard like i i know a good amount of the, about this stuff because you know i've been i wouldn't call myself an advocate but just like kind of behind the scenes for people like i've worked with the mom max victims and people like that um so you know i'm very i i also have like been through csa stuff myself and so because of that like i just have researched it a lot and i know about it um it is an extremely extremely common like basically like red flag warning that somebody has been through csa if they are having rape fantasies that young probably probably i i can't speak on that because i was never inappropriately touched as a child or sure. assaulted as a child that never no because you would have just blurted it out if you did <laughs> happened to me yeah. at least as far as i'm aware who knows maybe i really suppressed a memory but i've done like thought about it for a long time and i can't find anything in my memory bank yeah i can't find anything in my memory banks <laughs> no i mean it makes sense uh, um and i mean i don't i don't even think you need to necessarily have been like through something like that to like like this the science supports that like it's just a it's just a phenomenon that does happen with children who have been raped that they end up developing a rape fetish. Um, well, it does make sense because really... I did. I mean, trauma, really... like, tra like trauma responses do. Yeah, weird trauma. Stuff. Yeah, like. Yeah, this sounds so, so weird, you know. Yeah, like, like it's yeah, like I'm I'm not gonna argue with him on like that point. Yeah. Partly because I like I I believe that myself, obviously, because like for example, like I think something bad had to have happened to Sunny, in order for her mm. to um behave the way she has for like over a decade now at this point. Yeah, because like she she thinks it's it's completely fine to like interact with children about like rape fantasies and stuff you know yeah there's gotta be a reason behind yeah, it. yeah there, there has to be some sort of like trauma behind that in order to like yeah but yeah holy shit man there's nothing this i know the research about. i have done in that i ha do know that rape is like one of the most common fetishes I think okay. I think more, more common is just like you know, you know, a bit bit rough, bit rough in the bedroom, you know. <laughs> uh, coming yeah. from the guy who said that he might uh, have been assaulted by watching Shark Tales. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I, I need freaking bleach uh, for my eyes and everywhere. This is this is just weird. Yeah. Welcome to Jar. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I was never inappropriately touched so as a child. Nine. <laughs> Me neither, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Teddy was touched. But I also don't think he has uh, any uh, sort of um, assault fantasies. <laughs> it's like Jesus, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know that I will say uh, there's a degree to it. Like, you know, some non-con stuff is like kind of more like while you're smiling being like, oh, no, don't. Whereas like there's more brutal ones where like, for instance, like the <laughs> there's a part in the Cine DMs where Cine like very viscerally like describes a rape situation that happened to like the character nightmare and it was supposedly because like nightmare like molested children or something but the way that what the fuck what the... what the fuck is this bullshit man oh my <laughs> god the art commentary people y'all are freaks you should be ashamed of yourselves what the fuck man what the fuck that it's described is like viscerally viscerally like realistic um like just the talking about like the weeping and stuff like that and just like all this begging for it to stop all this kind of stuff and you know that's like a degree to which um i don't even think is common with non-con fetish um and i i would i would agree with you i don't think that is like a thing yeah so so you know in in cases like that like that's where i call it like full-on rape fetish um 
And I think that that is definitely not good. Normalizing that to a kid, definitely not good. Um, even if, because, you know, Kumo has made the point that with grooming, you have to have, like, that intent, right? But the problem is, yeah. regardless of intent, and this is kind of why I ultimately do agree with Kumo with the sexual misconduct point, she doesn't have the intent. Sure, I, I can go with that. But it's still sexual misconduct. It's still, like, disturbing and corrupting this child. There's still the signs of grooming there. Like, even if her intent wasn't to groom and then thus it's not grooming, it is still, like, sexual misconduct. It's still just this... this. I would call it grooming. I, mm, I yeah. would say for sure it's grooming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what Judd said. Like, it, it's mm. still sending, like, like uh, porn to, like, a kid, so... And thinking it's okay to do so, you know. It's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> what could have been, like, a police matter if Birdie hadn't been a fucking dumbass about it and just made a video about it and told everyone? Uh, yes, I understand. Like, I was not happy with that either. Because, to me, if this happens, like, you, the first... Like, I said in my video, if I found out my roommate was inappropriately messaging minors, I would go to the police. Yeah, 100%. Well, especially, like, the, I mean, obviously, like, we can talk circles about the whole, like, um, Birdie didn't actually look at screenshots and stuff like that. And you see, this is where we get to the point of, like, so, like, um, what I've, what everyone's pretty much gathered from this is that, like, the reason why Kumo was, like, so hard in defending, um, Sydney was because he wanted to do a video on birdie who was like cindy's roommate who like was the first one to initially expose all this happening mm. yeah uh why can't the art commentary just focus on <laughs> discussions of art and doing uh commissions and not being horny in servers i miss 2010 <laughs> youtube commentary despite the cringe <laughs> uh the good old days before for everyone, uh, it's yes. a fucking, fucking groomer, man. Jesus fucking Christ. 